Fe yn fyw ar S. Pendwraig nawr, hwn cair di dda Llan Ymddyfri. We've commentary in English during this afternoon's Indigo Prem final. It's on the red button if you're on Sky Plus, Freeview or Virgin Media. If you have a Sky Q or a TiVo box, go to Settings and use the Audio Selection option. Any problems, then get in touch with our viewers hotline. I'm Danny Te, yn fyw i Barcar Arfau. Wedi tair game ar hygen a oeth mis o rygbi ni wedi cyrraedd pen oeth nos ola yr uwch gyngrair Indigo. Heno, mi fyddwn ni'n coroni'r pen campwyr, felly cyrdydd neu llan ymddyfru pwy aeth ar tlws yma. Deuddeg tîm cychwynnodd gyda bryddwydion o ennill y tlws ac yn gynnar iawn fe welson i'r goreion yn camu i'r brig. Mae llan ymddyfru wedi bod ar dân trwy'r tymor yn sgorio ceisiau gwych. Mae llan ymddyfru yn dîm i gadwll i'r gadar eleni. Dydi dynion y brif ddinas ddim wedi bod allan o'r pedwar uchaf trwy'r tymor. Oh my God, is that all? I hoci ar y brif ddinas. Cyrdydd cwrdd y cwpan chwe wrth nos yn ôl ac mae'r dwbl o fewn i gafael. Wrth nos wetha, roedd yn camau rai ni ar fanc yr eglwys i weld y cyffro i gyd wrth i lan ymddyfru dal ymlaen mewn gêm agos. A'r porthyn fydd yn camu mlaen i barch yr arfau. A naw yr ni lawr i ddau, bois y brifddinas cyrdydd yn erbyn y porthmyn o lan ymddyfru. Croesoi Barcar Arfau sy'n wedi i'r orchuddio gan heilwen y braf, y diwnod perffaith ar gyfer rhywun derfynol yr Indig o Prem. E croesoi chi, a sa'i weithwch chi mae Beyoncé a'i thîm wedi gael del y brif ddinas a gwneud lle i'r tri gŵr yma. Rhys Fatchel, Steph Hughes a Ivan Phillips, a dyma'r sioi ni gyd eisiau gweld. Steph, dyma yw eich afbwynt gyrfaoedd rhai y pinnacle i nifer o'r boes yma. Be fydd yr ymysiynau ac yn bwysigach sut chi'n rheoli nhw? Wel, i bod ohonas, o'n un meddwl oedd y gêm Llan Ymddyfri a Merthyr, o'r bach hwyr nerfau na ni'n disgwyl o'r ffyrst wetha, felly mae hwnna'n bwysig i reoli'r nerfau heddi. Wrth gwrs, mae'n ddiwrnod perffaith am, am gêm a gored sy'n siwtor dda i dîm. So'r neges bydd i fwynhau, i fi'n credu i fwynhau i'r achlysur, dim bod yn sieu a tri al stoff a, a neud y gore o hynny. I roi tymor y cydydd yn i chi desim, nhw'n mwyn wedi'n colli peder gêm, a mae Llan Ymddyfri yn gyfrifol am ddwy o'r gyllediona, felly mae Boes Eros Evans yn gwybod sut i gyro cyddydd. Faint o hyder fydd hynny'n rhoi dyn nhw? Ie, yeah, yn sicr gen i fydd yn hwb, sicr legol uh, i Llan Ymddyfri bod nhw'n i gael y goroch afiaeth dwi waith allan, allan o'r tair gêm. Ond mae rhai cofio o'r un tro nath nhw colli oedd o ddar y ca yma, felly mae ddoi ffordd i edrych, edrych arni ond. Mm. O'r diwedd y dydd mae'n mae, mae gêm rown derfynol, mae'n mae gêm gwpan mwy'r alai, a, a fel ni gyd yn gwybod mae ma unrhyw beth yn gallu dygwydd mewn, mewn gêm, gêm rown derfynol. Yeah, Cydydd mae'n di colli ar y ca yma, unwaith y tymor hwn yn erbyn cas newydd. Pa fath o gêm ni'n disgwyl, ti'n hen gyfarwydd ar ca cyfle, mae'r ymwda yn rhoi berffaith? Ie, yeah, ni'n gobeithio, gêm lle mae'r, lle mae'r ddoi ddim yn mynd i fy mas i ennill y gêm. Mae'n mor ddoi ddim yma yn gallu tolu'r beil o gwmpa, a mae'n nhw wedi cyrraedd y lefel yma, mae'n nhw wedi cyrraedd y gêm yma, achos bod nhw'n folon tolu'r beil na gwmpa, bod nhw'n folon ymosod, ti'n mynd cyrraedd rhwng derfynol, jyst yn cico beil i ffwrdd ag yn ymddiffyn, felly wi'n gobeithio neith y ddoi ddim aros um, gyda'r gyda bwriad hynny heddi. Right, well, mae'r cefnogwyr yn mwynhau eu hynna, maen nhw wedi ffeindio cornel o'r stadiwm. Uh, Sydd wedi i'r chyddio gan heilwen. Ar gyfer taledd, mae 57 o bwyntiau yn cael eu sgorio yn y gêm yma. Pa mae'r ddau dîm yma yn cwrdd, felly ni yn disgwyl gwledd o rygbi. Right, ni am gagair gyda un o'n ffyfrynu ni ar y raglen yma. Bach wrth llan ymddyfru, Ricky Guest. A Ricky, cwestiwn cyntaf, ydy'r sgydiau lwcus wedi teithio lawr gyda ti heddi? Y crocs lwgar. <laughs> O dyn, maen nhw yn, yn y safle clywed yn barod i fynd, os ennill yw'r un o, well, uh, maen nhw modd o ifed peint. Dyna ni, os cofiwch chi, oedd yr ecig es yn crwydro o gwmpas bangor eglwys wrth nos wetha, fel brin yn llan ymddyfri, <laughs> so yn glom hab y dysawd, mae ni'n gallu cyfio nhair crocs na, Ivan. Ond, um, nhw'n i'n drafod y gêm, Ricky, um, Eros, wrth nos mae, di'n gweud, os i chi'n ennill hon, dyma fi llwyddiant mwy erioed y clwb. Ti'n gytuno? I credu ei rhaid sy'n iawn o bethau'n weud, achos mae'n i ennill y clwb, nid i ennill y, y cwpan. I'n meddwl i weithiau fel clwb, ond byllu bod yn agos i ennill y gyngrair, felly yeah, fi, fi'n credu bod y, y, y sylwad yn awr ffeirio, ei rhaid sy'n yn gywir. Gest ti eisiau ni bod i'n clywed bod ti'n gadael y llan ymddyfri a'r diwedd o tymor. 
So, man, I'm going to ask you my own what I'm going to do with the game. So, what are you going to do? Um, dim bod'n gwneud dros nos, cysgus i ddim lot, ond i'n Tesco yn llechu yn eithwyr yn 2020. Felly, na, um, edrych yma, dim dres TV ar un llaw ond hefyd, os ni'n ennill, byddwn ni wedi tapus os ben, ond uh, rejoio uh, yn amser yn cyndyfri. Gyfan gwbl, uh, lot yn pobl da, mis i'n ennill o'n heddi, uh, fel teingiad i pawb sydd i wyth o'r galed dros y blynyddau yn, yn y clwb. Chwarae teg, nid o'r peth hawsa yn ei siar, a dyn ni'n trawbod hi'n stretcho, ond jyst yn gyfle, mae chi wedi cael ofta lwyddiant yn erbyn cadydd y tymor yma, ennill dwy colli'n, faint yn hyder mewn anwyr i'r boys. Oedd i'n mae lot o hyder y boys yn unen, ond mae lot o dynion da yn y tîm hyn, hefyd a chwreiwyr da, mae pawb yn, so mae pawb yn ffrindio, mae pawb yn trysdo gilydd, a hefyd mae pawb yn gwbl beth mae'n meddwl i pawb yn y clwb, a mae'r pwysais na wedi dod trwyddo trwy'r wrthos. A fi'n cyrru mae pawb yn edrych mlaen i gobeithio wneud y job heddi. Ricky, pwblwc diolch yn fawr a pwy o'r falle gen i sgwrs gyda ti yn ystod y gêm. Pai, dyn ni'n gyddio, plîs. Neu ddim amser o fo, mae'r bloren. O, mae ni'n da yn diwedd, Ricky Gess. Rhaid, os i chi'n ceisio dyfalu lle mae Rhys a Steph wedi mynd, mae nhw wedi mynd ar grwydr i'r cae. Ie, ni lawr ar ochr cardydd o'r cae, mae nhw'n tŵm o lan fy nyn. Rhys, yn amlwg dwi'n dam ffeis ddim yn hoci a chi chwarae heddi, mae Halis yn James yn chwarae fel Masur. Sio mae hwnna'n mynd i effeithio ar ffordd mae Cardydd yn chwarae, ti'n meddwl? O, mae Cardydd yn, yn, yn ddibynnol iawn i rhyw raddau arno dan ffeis, ond mae fe'n amlwg i chi gweld fe fe'n gyda'i arddo mewn cast. Halis yn James yn cael y cyfle, ond nhw'n becso braidd yn byty fe a, a, a'i gos, ond do, dwi'n meddwl bach o cramp o ddeunol dan ffeis, felly um, cyfle mawr i ddo fe, fydd e'n drych ymlaen, chwarae gytre y, y dorf yn dechrau dod, mae hael yn twynu, Cyfle greit iddo fe dangos i ddoniau, a ti'n bod allan dyfri wedi dod i war y fyd, ti'n gwybod bach yn byty nhw, bach, bach, bach mwy na fydd e'r persona cyffredin yn y bod. Ie, yeah, fi'n cyrru, chybod, yn ni'n meddwl, os mantes gyda cydydd chwarae getreth, gwrs maen nhw'n gyfarwydd ar ca, ond mae'r style mae'r llan dyfri'n chwarae dwysedd uchel yn siwto, wella, y ca a siwto yr amodau, fydd, fydd hwnna'n diddorol iawn. Ti'n amlwg wedi gweld rhywbeth mae Cardydd yn wneud yn ei chwarae yn ymosodol, beth, uh, beth mae hwnna'n edrych fel? Ie, yeah, so mae yn debyg iawn i Llyndyfri, mae nhw'n trio trafod y bêl hefyd, mae dyna rhyw stac yma, oddi wrth yn naw, yn draddodiadol, ni'n chwarae, ni, ni, ni'n gweld maswyr yn, yn waredd ail gymal, Cardydd yn waredd cymal off naw, ac yn cael y maswyr bach yn bwyllad dan, so drwch eich mlaen y tynnu dyn ôl y blaenwyr, yn symud y bêl bach yn bwyllad yn y Cardydd felly'n gallu cael y bêl i'r ymylon ar gyfer rhywun fel Dewi Cross sydd yn, uh, sydd yn Wel, mae mynd fo'n gêm agos iawn heddi, ni'n edrych y flaen yn, yn fawr iawn am y, am y gystadleuaeth, gen ni weld uh, pwy bydd y, y mynddau ar y diwedd. Diolch, boes, ni'n mynd i barhau i sôn am olwyr cydydd, a Dewi Cross yn benodol, gwrsi nabod yn dda, ti'n bod sgwrsio gyda fe, damser gyda'r gwelch. Pa mor allweddol i we a Cameron Wynnett yw'r ffordd mae Cyrdydd yn, yn chwarae? Ond benda mae'r ddoi, ddoi chwreiwyr dal yn chwreiwyr ifanc, ond mae'n allweddol sy'n ffordd mae'r ein yn neud i gyrdydd y digon, digon i'n gweld. Y ddoi yn cyfuno gyda'i gilydd yn dewi cross yn neud y bylchiad a Cameron Wyn Edward yn, yn, yn croes i'r llinell. Drwy ma, prop yn rhydd gyrdydd yn rhoi cic trwy a, a dewi cross yn mynd dros y llinell. A mi, a, mae wedi cael ei ugen o geisiau i gyrdydd leni, felly mae fe'n mae fe chwreiwyr o fri a gobeithio allan ni'n weld e yn, yn croes i'r llinell, llinell gwyn a cwpl o weithiau. Cwpl o weithiau. Ie, yeah, prif sgorio'r ceisiau Lenny, os mae'n sgorio pedwar hyn o fe fydd wedi sgorio mwyaf geisiau mewn tymor yn digo prem erioed, mae Rhys Patchel wedi ymun o ni. Jyst yn gyflym, ti'n gweld yn cam i lan a chwarae i gydydd yn fwy cyson tymor nesa. Dwi'n credu un wedi gyda rhywun fel uh, Dewi Cross, mae Dewi Cross mae'n gael uh, er, uh, ar y lefel uh, rhyngwlad, uh, rhanbarthol na mae'n gael er, uh, y profiad na mae'n gael i y deg o gemau gyda uh, y gwelch, felly fi'n siŵr bydd bydd rhywun fel fe a Cameron Wynnett sy, sy'n barod gyda gyrdydd yn, uh, yn, yr, yn yr Academy, fi'n siŵr bydd e nhw yn barod i wneud y uh, uh, cam lan a fi'n siŵr os bydd Dewi Cross yn gallu'r um, aros maso anafiadau, fi'n siŵr gallu ni weld e yn, uh, yn y, y tîm rhanbarthol yna. Right, dwi'n mae Esperret, Cyfrannu'n Cymdeithas o Esperret wedi bod yn rhedeg plaid laeth caes y flwyddyn, 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 yn rhedeg Chais y mis, wel ni wedi dod ar ceisio yna at ei gilydd, allai ei weithio chi Osian Davis yw'r enillydd. A dyma tro dweth a gothod cydydd, tan ymddyfru, cirodd nhw ar fanc yr eglwys y DT Meros Evans yn gallu ail greu'r perfformio yna tybedwch. Nôl ato ni wedi'r ei gwyl.
Christ and all, E. Barker, Aravesh, and Highland 20 in a brief in Asani Venide or Gick Gunta. Stan of every and Kitty or Ennis and Hernam to Kunta at Seville, Ak in the Quick, Omanua, Dikir of Simanak, the US and Barod Eleni, Adun Valchian of the Wade, Mardai of Odor, Eras Evans, and Steve Lawn, and Mino and Ina, Raira, Sidigueros, Nosma, to Mabe the Suidi and Muya, Club Bosochi and Suido Ennis. Ydy you prefer for the and gasly moin high do not well hon papa ma pwys yn eich sbwydau? Na ma'n gael eu, dyma ma'n bwysig i wneud ni. Ni wedi gweithio gael eu i cyrraedd ma, so bwysig i mewn ai dydd. I was asking Eros there if a head coach can enjoy a day like this, or a pre-match like this at least. You're going for your fifth title, you're going for back-to-back titles, Steve. What are the emotions right now? Well, if you can't enjoy days like this, what are you doing it for, really? I mean, it's difficult because everybody is emotionally high, but you've got to try and enjoy it. Steve, in terms of managing that emotion, tactically it's important that you manage the game. How do you go about that? Well, we've done all our prep now. It's down to the two teams to go out there and perform and you know get a performance. And if they both get a performance, they potentially be the hell of a game, I think. Thank you both. Go and take your seats. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure you will Thank enjoy you. it. Demonita, a game all that, a game by Sitka Oat. English language commentary is available with Phil Steele and Rhys Patchell. And the Gamraig, Owen Gwynedd, Ivan Phillips, Sinka Kumni, Steph Hughes. Uh, thanks very much, Lauren. Yes, 260 days since the season started in early September. Here we are at Cardiff Arms Park for the climax, the playoff final between the reigning champions and the team that finished second in the league, Sand Every. And I'm delighted to be joined by uh, Wales three quarter and former Cardiff three quarter and Scarlet three quarter, uh, Rhys Patchell. Rhys, uh, undoubtedly the two best teams in the league here. Yeah, I think we've got two two worthy teams out here today. Absolutely, both teams want to throw the ball around. I think that's a, I think that's a wonderful advertisement for the for the game, isn't it? Nobody, well, certainly I don't want to come and watch a team that just kicks the leather off and tries to defend like Al Asari's would have done years ago. You know, great that there's two positive teams out here. A lot of points scored between them in the head-to-heads so far this season. So hopefully, we have another great day of rugby ahead of us uh, on the Cardiff Arms Park. Yeah, they average 57 points a match. These two teams when they meet. So as Reese was saying, we should be in for some points. There's Jack Maynard, points for him, 220 of them this season. And that's the top in the league. Former Cardiff player, of course, as Morgan Allen leads out the Blue and Blacks. They've already bagged the WRU Cup. And now can they make it a double and defend their championship? It's a very good crowd in here possibly approaching the 2,000 mark which is very good for the Premiership. A lot have come down from Slandavry, three bus loads and people in cars as well. So we shouldn't lack for atmosphere. There's the Cardiff back division. Plenty of pace there. Joe Goodchild and Dowie Cross, 20 tries this season. Tom Haberfield and uh, Harrison James experienced and rookie at halfback. Yeah, I, can't, I haven't got Wayne. And there are the uh, subs on either side. Everyone but Jacob Lloyd of the Cardiff side is uh, an academy player. There's Morgan Allen then. Referee is Mr Mike English from Collicott, a coach of the Collicott and Chepstow under-16s team, so he'll understand what uh, the coaches of either side, Aero Sevens and... uh, Steve Laura going through. Johan <laughs> Hughes gets us underway. Straight away down into Cardiff territory. And a decent touch find as Jack Maynard just uh, runs the ball up to where the line it'll be. If you look down those uh, two teams, uh, Chris, who are you going to keep your eye on this afternoon? <coughs> Well, certainly Harrison James is, is the standout person to keep their eye on from the Cardiff point of view. Obviously, Dan Fish, unfortunately injured, and therefore big boots to fill for him, but yeah, a very promising young player in the Cardiff uh, three-quarter back line. And, uh, you know, Jack Maynard normally plays, or has played a lot of rugby at 10, he plays full-back for Shannon OK, um, we're all good. More of a ball-playing full-back rather than, a, Hold that gap, rather blue. than an out-and-out speedster in the wide channels, but understands the game very well and will help you on here with no end, I'm sure. First line out, a little bit of synchronised swimming, but uh, up goes Jack Jones, the skipper. Fourth land every, trying to get a bit of a drive Eagle going. 
early doors and they do get to the halfway line. We've got a powerful pack of Sven Devry. He's not changed. Talisman is the captain, Jack Jones, and they've got Austin Davis, Stuart Waddle and Yestin Reese in the uh, back row, lively back row. But it's been turned by the Blue and Blacks. Taken on by Ethan Phillips, Cardiff University man on permit. And a hint of something for Cardiff in the midfield. Haberfield, lots of experience there with him to compensate for the youngster Harrison James. Nearly 150 games for the Ospreys, of course. Tom Haverfield. Stand. Blue all on. You can see uh, the, the effect of the sun there. No Owen Hughes having to shield his eyes. So that could be an advantage for Cardiff, Reese in this first half, perhaps. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a, it's a bit of a difficult win for, uh, win for judge as well as Cardiff get a turnover. Yeah, it's not often we have to, <laughs> we have to say about... Uh, the sun being a problem in South Wales as the first penalty is given to Stan Debry. Thank you for that. A little bit of uh, bifters as well. You cleared him out. Eston Rees on, on screen there in the, in the black scrum cap. Very accurate rugby player. Ten. Very, very accurate rugby player. You know, um, played with him at the Scarlet. Please clear the player out. You know, I always looked across when no I saw him. Like, you always knew that he was going to run the, the right line or he was always going to be where he needed to be. Um, so looking forward to him. Uh, off to Amphill next season, I believe with Paul Turner, hopefully he gets a lot of rugby because he's a, he's a very good young player. Yeah, born in Germany, Stan Dilo, RFC product, Wales under 20 international and Wales under 18, captain the under 18s. And that'll be a good standard to play, until in the championship. Absolutely, absolutely, they're, they're a very good side. They they sort of punch above their weight, really, don't they, for a, for a, ten, for a community ten. club to establish themselves in the championship as they have, and Paul Turner's doing a very good job there. Yeah, also involved with the Welsh Exiles, of course, Paul Turner. Former Newport, New Bridgen, Wales fly half, you might remember from the 80s and 90s. And Dudley taken into the midfield, it's the 10-metre line of Cardiff. These sides have met three times this season. And Dudley have won their home league game and a cup game. Cardiff won the home game here in the league. Not on board. Yeah, ball lifted, play on. A great deal of momentum at the moment for St. Devery, but they are play on. holding Leave on the possession. Blue. Lee Reese, watch out for his canny promptings and uh, sniping this afternoon. The sevens expert. That's feet. Reese comes back to this left hand side to Austin Davis. And that's against that's the windscreen patience. at the moment, though, with the Cardiff tackling. But they are keeping the ball, the Drovers. I think just, just looking I agree. at the Drovers uh, and Devries clean out. They're, they're stopping at the player over Going the ball. Back. If you go past the ball, the ball will be a bit faster for them. You can get Lee Reese moving then, rather than he's got to go digging because they don't Gents. clean beyond Thank the you. ball. Now, come back. Yeah, Lee Reese, we saw him in uh, fine fettle in the high scoring defeat against Newport a fortnight ago. Scrappy as he's known. Over 300 appearances for the Drovers and a sevens legend as well. Jens, we're not huddling, please. Jack. So, five minutes in. Dav Hughes, Canterbury College product. Second at the second attempt, but uh, it's accidental there, gents. And the, uh, Just and accidental there, boys. The referee, and the scrum. Cardiff scrum. Win 15. Yeah. A lot of a lot of huffing and puffing there by Canterbury, wasn't there in the in the phases leading up to that line out. That then, and Cardiff's oh, defence holds very firm. And every pack not getting much change out of them and not getting much change by moving the ball either. So I'm sure Steve Law will be very happy with the uh, with the initial exchanges from a defensive point of view. Well, this will be interesting. Uh, two excellent front rows. That Cardiff front oh, row, all over 30. Yes. Mark Thomas, lots of regional experience. Right. Harlequins, Worcester Warriors, Cardiff, Five. of course, and Alan Reese, Hooker, and of course Set. Scott Andrews with his 14 caps for Wales. So this is a 
big battle in the front row as down they go. Referee allows advantage. the ball to come out though, or he's playing advantage as well. Thank you, mate. Harrison James decides to give a first touch to his backs. Again, back to this line site. Nice cut out pass. Finds Nathan Hud. Have a feel again. No advantage. We're coming back. Come back for the penalty. There is an opportunity there for Cardiff. Sundovery's defence a little bit narrow. You know, if, yeah. if they can get that ball out the back of that forwards pod into into Harrison James's hand and play, you know, two or three channels wider. Of course, Tanner, there'll be a lot of problems. I'm okay, man. I think we're good to go. 20 degrees. So we we'll expect to see the water carriers on quite a bit. One of whom, of course, is uh, Dan Fish. Uh, disappointed for Dan that he couldn't just finish his career. Uh, it's a penalty, three uh, collapse, back ten, please. In a final Seven. for his for his home team. Yeah, absolutely. Three collapse. Uh, the club legend is knees. He, he played in my first three game collapse. for. For Cardiff RFC away at Church uh, at Church Bank against Adam Levy, I, I I think he ran out of superlatives. It wouldn't surprise me if he comes out of retirement next year for for Cardiff Rugby, but uh, or either side, either, well, Cardiff either, side. either Cardiff side. But uh, he seems to be set on having a couple of runouts for the Buns in Div Three. Yeah, St Albans in Scott. That was his home club, very famous club where Mark Ring began his rugby career in the school there, St Albans Primary School. Got to take the line out and get a useful looking drive as well. And uh, Sean Moore is leading that one now. It's left for Haberfield. And uh, Cross is in adding to the attack. Wait. Sandavri, the best defence in the league. Conceded the fewest tries. No, you've lost Red. Using the blind side again, Cameron Winnett. A lot expected of him, of course. He was in the 20s international. Back to this right hand side, Ethan Phillips. Aberfield, James. Pinches. Last feet, nine. Cardiff inching forward. James again into Gwinnett, who's yes, taken a nice line. The referee blows for a penalty, though. For holding on against Cardiff. A Give lovely delay from Give Harrison James there. Cameron Winnett on the shoulder ball, really late at the line. Something we become accustomed to watching Jared Evans do out here at the Arms Park for, for Cardiff. But the danger by going so far and pumping so many times when you're going at the line is, of course, that you're going to be taken out of the game so you can't support the player and, uh, and the drovers over the ball there for a well earned penalty. Cardiff's forwards done a very good job getting over the over the game line though. You know, Morgan Allen very prominent carrying, which which really opens up the opportunity for yeah, for James to go to the line. Very difficult to go to the line when you're on the back foot. But when the pack are on a bit of a roll and the defence is rolling backwards, great opportunity for the young man Inside to go the at, the, at the drover's defence. And they take the line out as well. Yeah, there's uh, rumours that he's on his way to uh, Tony Pool, going back home to Gwent, uh, Morgan Allen. Maybe a It'd be a good signing for whoever he goes to next year. He's uh, he's a big ball carrier in the middle of the field and, and gets teams over the game line invariably. And Pontypool Last back in here. the Premiership, of course, next year. Congratulations to them. They won the championship again. Use Wait uh, for it'd be good to see them in the Premiership. Well supported club as well. And a great name of Welsh rugby. Good child. Stand blue! And it's kick. Taken by Reese. Quite get to the halfway line, but as well to lay it back. Use Reese again. It's just a bit of a free ball, though, to Good Child. Stand blue. Stand. Wait. Wait. Okay. That's a great kick. Yes, yeah, found a bit of green, and it's an awkward bounce for Reese as well. And he did well in the end. He's made a bit of ground. Bit of a paramedics pass he gave though. No blue. No. 
we stand every 10 metre line. No. Jack Stand Jones, seven. the captain, okay. acting as scrum half. Up it goes again. <laughs> the great take as well. Harry Dole. <laughs> and Sandavri get rewarded. 15's off his feet. I can't reward you. Well, very, very good game management there from Fon the Sandavri. Middle of the field. A lot of rucks to try and get it to a 15 in order to be able to kick off nine, which a lot of teams do. But Johan Hughes kicks on the Shot. money. Harry Dole, look at that like a salmon leading knee which means that he's protected Great he's option. always going to win the space in the air keeps his eyes on the ball and <laughs> a bit of a mess on the floor really but the ref making it clear the camera minute hasn't rolled away and a good showcase this for somebody like harry dole you know who, who lost out at worcester when when the financial troubles hit there good chance for him live on television to show his ways yeah absolutely absolutely especially in the big games that's where you want to be performing and and, and great that he's got the opportunity that that Tindavri have given him a chance to come home and uh, Jens, get himself off, on the field. And as you say, an opportunity to show his ways today. No, Jens Waterhouse is a penalty. So here he is, Jack Maynard, 220 points for the season. Jets. Former Cardiff player, of course, in his second season with Tindavri. They need to go the other side. Big right to left curl on his kick. Reminds me a lot of Christian Leliafano, the Aussie, uh, the Aussie outside half. So watch for the right to left curl. And he left to right curled it just about perfectly. Coach reached Bruce Patchell right on the money there. If anybody's looking for a kicking coach next year, give me a ring. Um, no, lovely kicker of the ball, Jack. But lovely footballer. You know, sees the game very well. Ball in two hands. Lovely show and go. So uh, looking forward to him getting it's a coming. chance. Dry day today. Oh, Both coming. teams, in fairness, looking to shift the ball despite the fact that it's a final. Staying true to what's got them to the to this big game. And the early points go to Jack Maynard. Yeah, he was saying in the press conference on Friday how much he was looking forward to playing, putting his wits against his old club. Good competition. And still only 28. Okay, yeah, he's got a bit of grey in the old uh, beard there. Um, last week, one last week. Seems, it's because he's played so long in the Premiership. We seem to think he's probably a bit older than he is, but he's only 28. No. Very Good durable contest. player, He's isn't he? It. Very, very, very rarely gets injured. Lose. It's KG though in the opening 12 minutes, and just that Maynard penalty is the halfway line. Scott Andrews. It'll chip through. Maynard showing all his experience there, though, in the pocket to take it. I'm not rewarding that. <laughs> Referee in no uncertain terms. Telling Lee Reese to get on with it. Use. Scott Andrews again popping up in the midfield. It's very cagey, Reese, isn't it? Can you see any. Uh, uh, can uh, Stand over get a penalty. Can you see any patterns emerging as yet? Since they've really tried to use the short side an awful lot, so they've gone sort of towards the midfield, and if they don't get Two. much momentum, they Two. come so back to the touchline that the they've penalty. come from. They've, they've played a lot towards this, this near touchline where the tunnel is a fair bit. They're playing a bit more through nine, and Cardiff are trying to play a bit more through ten, which I'm quite surprised about, really, because I thought that Haberfield, especially with a young outside half, would, would, would play a bit more through him, but that, that seems to be the early trend, that, that's for sure. I, I just would I'd like to see Harrison James move but have a bit more flow I remember Ben Blair that you know the great all black fullback who played for Cardiff I remember him saying Reese, if you don't move on the inside I can't move on the outside so if, if Harrison James takes the line forward everybody comes with him and, and everybody else can flow onto the ball rather than take it standing still here's Jack Maynard then he's put over one is to take him up to 226 points for the season way out in front in the Premiership point scoring table And it's still early doors, but these, we've only played 15 minutes, but these early points, as he uh, curls it in again, the Reese Patchell curl, and through it goes 
6 0. Um, still early doors, Reese, but in a cup final, these early scores have a habit of proving crucial. Absolutely. I, I, I'd be a big believer in building a score, especially in big games. You know, you keep the scoreboard ticking over and, and 3 6 9, and then you score a try on top of that, and all of a sudden you're a fair way ahead. So I think Clindavia are doing the right thing by taking the points. Um, early, early doors, but kind of a, an opportunity to launch here. They've launched quite well off scrums. Let's see if they can launch well off a, off a line out as well. There's Alan Reese, the uh, ex Bedworth man, Cardiff's top try scorer last season. Or at the forwards, anyway. It's overthrown, though. Just a hint of uh, nerves oh, in the Cardiff ranks okay. at the moment. Stand blue out! Keep coming. Harry Dole takes it. Come! 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 Owen Hughes is. 50, hit, and we get a little bit of the old uh, tennis as Harry Dole goes back, and that might benefit Sandevery. Not quite. Yes, it will. Right the way back, we'll come. You, you were doing pitch side down there. What did you notice about the wind when you were down actually on the field? I felt that it was going towards the tap, <coughs> going towards the tap end. So he's kept that low under under the wind there. And this is the, this is not a problem, but this is indicative of, a, Guys, of an artificial field. You don't really know what the bounce is going to do. And on, sometimes boys. it bounces and dies and sometimes it kicks on. And unfortunately there, it's kicked on and uh, and has handed a, a, a great attacking opportunity big short side to use if they want to go down that right hand side of the scrum with an 8-9 as we see on the screen or whether or not they try and steal Harry right. Dole and play towards the left edge and uh, and run something with him out the back set down we go Yeah, uh, um, your feet are going to come higher. The uh, your coach height is going to come higher, yeah. and we're going to hit at height. Was uh, was staying in the press conference we attended Let's on go, quick reset, please. Friday about how they how much his team enjoys playing on uh, on the on the plastic as he as he called it. Although they've got a a grass pitch down there at Church Bank. Crouch. Bind. Aero Sevens, of course, the Landevry coach. Use. Reese, will they come into this open side? Uh, Harry Dole did come in off his wing. Ball's available. A little bit slovenly again, though, for the scrum half, Reese. No hands, no blue. Jack Maynard. No blue. Dole has stayed. No seven. Up with the attack. Perry and Watkins has a goal, the, the tight head. It's better from Flandavry, just inching further forward, little chip through. Uh, goal though, had, uh, wasn't in any position to chase that. Still, still, I still think that's, you know, people would see that as negative, why he kicked the ball two. away, they're in the opposition no. half, but... Clindavery are going to get a repeat set here, right? So, so Cardiff are going to have to exit. They're going to have to kick the ball to Harry Dole. And rather than attack against the full line that's organised as they were, he'll get a counter-attack opportunity here. End of the first quarter. And uh, Clindavery leading by six points to nil. Two Jack Maynard penalty goals. Four red changes. Cardiff get a penalty. You asked me and I said you were fine. You then changed your mind after. Back we go. He gets another opportunity unless they give a penalty away. I, I forgot to caveat that uh, <laughs> that repeat set comment that I made. Well, let's go to Lauren. She's got company pitch side. A duo and roller team, San and Vivre. A Joe and Gunter, Pamud Boysig, and my key, Sir Galapunt, and Kentar Scorvo. The study at Pamud Gloss Mar game, and Maddie Bode is a Marhon. Yeah, we can see the Velchi Gurigal Tamar Mato, my pointer board, and Gennar and Ed One Yes, or just Setlop has a lot of weed, a cluster well here. These are my boys, just boys, well, Bonnie Arbla, now Ragasi, Ware, Game Nimoy Ware. 
ar gyn a chi moyn mae'r efallai y sgoi arfer y dacl y cadw'r bel yn fyw. Chi'n meddwl falle mae'n ffordd mae'r modem a'n sy'n ffordd chi'n well? Ie, ie, i'r afe, ma fe, tywydd mae fel ni'n siarad trwy'r wythnos fy drofus we i ond beth sy'n ni moyn mi mewn ni fath o'r brwydr be ni'n sgori, nŵn sgori nôl am lan, tywydd. So, ma fe mi'n ni fod na, agos cyrdi fy'n ti mae bennig. So, tywydd, mae wella bydd yr ymodau yn cael rhyw fath o effaith, tywydd, mae tymerev ma. So, gen ni weld bydd y faint yn ware ran fyd. Diolch yn mael. The Llan Dyfri Team Manager, Joe Rogers, what did he say there, Rhys? That the early points are a settler. Um, so obviously they're quite Inside. happy. That, therefore, what a lovely spiral that by Jack Maynard. Um, but they're they're very happy to be taking the points as we discussed in commentary, and, and they they they're trying to you know back up Thanks, points David. so that they double up rather than the match seesaws from a scoring point of view that they are able to put two or three consecutive scores together to to edge themselves ahead. Inside two, carried back. Is Maynard again propels it aerially? It's a lovely take. Halfway line. Pinches the former Merthyr centre. Last seat. A uh, couple of errors just creeping into the blue and blacks game at the moment now. Time's off, boys. Let's go. I'll have a squirt, boys. Yeah. It is Harrison James, the man who's uh, down. Uh, you spotted that, Reese. What, what do you uh, what do you think? Because he's he's coming back after the calf injury. He just sort of this is this is it as he counter attack as he's counter attacking goes to step here and just. Well, we see it on screen there. I don't need to try and describe what's happened there. And he, and he looked, and I was just watching him get up, and he looked in a fair amount of discomfort, and then he tried hobbling off. And I thought, he's, he's... I don't want to diagnose this from the commentary box, but you know, clearly in a significant amount of discomfort. Yeah, let's hope uh, it's not too serious for the former <laughs> Wales Under 20 international. Probably means there's a, a fair amount of reshuffling to. To happen in, and in the kind of backlines. Yeah, they got Ethan Lloyd and, uh, or rather, Ryan Wilkins and, and and Jacob Lloyd. Neither of whom are particularly, um, you know, they're not tens as no. a first position. So, what would you suggest they'll do, Cardiff? I'd su I suggest they can win it with goal kick. Yeah, and I think Ryan Wilkins may may come on, but um, you know, Dan Fish, as we watch it again. Just off the left here, bump gone underneath him. I don't know whether that's. I I don't wanna. I don't wanna guess at that. Um, but as I say, three physios on, giving a fair amount of attention. And by the looks of it, if they're strapping him up, it looks like they're going to try and keep him on the field to see, to see if he can, uh, he can carry on. To come on S4C tonight, every night. As long as it's on, is the Giro d'Italia. Geraint Thomas in the frame, of course. Cardiff boy. It is tonight at 9 o'clock on S4C. Are you a cycling man? Technical good. I, I take an interest in it. I take a passing interest. I'd be, I'd be good friends with Owain Duel, MBE, of course. Nine. Gold medal uh, Olympian uh, at, the, uh, at the 2016 out in Rio. They won the gold medal in the team pursuit. And he's, he cycles for EF Pro. Um, on the tour, so uh, yeah, keep a weathered eye. Just to, so we're just going to on keep the set, boys. Okay, let's go. Doing. Well, Geraint Thomas was um, Tour de France winner, Olympic gold medalist. Do you know what his other claim to fame was? He was, once, he was once the pitch side guest Christ. down there for me at half time on Scrum Five in a in a an awful Fine. game. You might remember the game, Cardiff against Cardiff Blues, as they were against the Dragons. Awful game just before Christmas. Do you remember it? Yeah. I think it was before the uh, the plastic pitch. I remember that game. I played in that game. And Dublin getting a bit more confident here, and they've got, made a bust. <laughs> Harry Dole it was, but he was deemed to have Tackle's not released. You're holding on. Two knee, one knee on the floor. But just bit by bit, Reese, Land Dublin seem to be finding a bit of confidence. Yeah, they seem to be the dominant team 22 minutes into this game, don't they? They, they seem to have sort of 
controlled the, the speed and the flow of the game for me. You know, it, it seems to be on on their terms as opposed to Cardiff's at the moment. And uh, another opportunity for Cardiff. Last time I think it was an overthrow, so so a great opportunity for them here to uh, to launch another attack. Yeah, okay. I, he was held for okay. half a second, but yeah, a bit perhaps a bit unlucky there, Harry Doe, but he. He made the gap. If he could have got, got a pass away, that could have been really interesting. Well, let's see if Cardiff can get something together. It's another one gone awry, though. And every will love that. Release. Forwards piling through. Use. Reese propels it skyward. Finding it difficult no. to get any forward momentum at the moment, yeah, Cardiff. I'm just, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not offering you much Use. on Cocoms here, Phil, because I'm trying Last to work out, seven. you know, how how Cardiff are going to get themselves into this game. Really, um, Tom Hancock will be very happy with his defence at, at the moment. I'd say. Come back. Yeah, with Lantavri now, former uh, Pontypool coach and player, of course. Jack Maynard sends out a, a long booming pass. The halfway line, Reese busy as he always is. This is it now. Clint every look as though they've got a little bit of flow and a little bit of momentum into there. They're, they're the ones on the front foot all the time. So they've got plenty of pace on the wings as well. They've got Harry Dole on the right, and Aaron Warren. We haven't seen him yet, but he's lurking with intent on this left hand side. Oh, Dab Hughes has done well there. Knock an advantage over. First round for me. That's been burgled by the blue and black. This is the chance to move it. If they can shift this ball, then they're in a bit of problem. Down the left edge, Harrison James needs this ball in his hands as soon as he can. Scott Andrews has to be the scrum half. Have a feel with the charge down. Basketball pass in the end. Barnes Wallace pass then picked up by. Evans. First man. But it's all just so and laborious for Cardiff, and they've got no option other than to put it up in the air. Nobody in particular fancying that one. The ball bouncing in the middle of a melee of eight players. And that scrappy passage of play ends in a line out. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Nine. Morgan Allen obviously knew that the left edge. I'd like Maybe to have seen the ball leave his hands a bit earlier, but Cardiff. Kind of recognising quickly off a turnover where the space was, shifting the ball a couple of passes and and making a nice dent down that left edge. I feel like potentially holding on to it. This is this is the jackal. Does on this on this latest carry, I think it is. I, I agree. Uh, either way, it was Make excellent. Sure you're inside the First over the ball, ball's gone away. Nine on his knees. Ooh, referee might might not be too happy with that call. <laughs> And Dublin take the line up. They've never won the Premiership title, and Dublin they won the cup a few seasons back. They haven't won at Cardiff Arms Park since September 16, but they're off here, and here's a great chance for the first try. And it's that man, the scrum half, Lee Reese, running a lovely support line, and now the Drovers really mean business. Absolutely, very well worked, very well worked off a off a turnover from the line out. Jack Maynard gets the ball at the second receiver. Johan Hughes, I, I, I talked about the, the link between those two, having two outside halves on the field, being able to shift the ball from one edge to the other. Two lovely, longish passes. And then Warren on the inside here, just trailing. Pinches slightly over chasing, ducks in behind rather than staying high. And Lee Reese runs the good scrum half line, the cheat line inside the ball. And Warren, to be fair, knows. I, I don't know whether it knows or just has a sense that if they have the easy thing for him to do there is to tuck and to try and try and carry to the corner. But unselfish play there, really good. I love the fact the extra pass has been given. May not add the extras. And now it is looking serious for Cardiff. I've got 27 Yeah, it is. It's, and, and that's where those six points that we were discussing, early doors in the game, that, that you know, if that's just a converted try to 7-0, it's a one-score game, whether it's now... 
the extra six makes a big difference to the mindset yeah, potentially for Cardiff may have to chase this a bit earlier than they want Central to playoff. and also on the, the form of yeah, the play as well Dan Devery have had they've just been more cohesive in the opening half hour yeah absolutely they they set pieces worked a bit better hasn't it so they, they've they, they've managed to, to build some pressure there and it's all going wrong for Cardiff just timing gents cheap I, I know there's no malice and there's no you know intent to hurt yeah. in that but it's just it's just it a cheap appear. penalty to give away unfortunately and you I, can see I, what I they're trying to do they need they need a big play to get themselves a bit of momentum and, a, and to shift the momentum but it's a it's a it's a freebie of an exit as far as the are concerned nice kick down the line as well from Jon Hughes well done, I've been in my own venue and Evans in Cadwell come here. Ian, Sean of Devery have obviously built a lead in this first half. How do you go about building some momentum? I think that's a key word. I think we've just got to try and yeah, take our opportunities, uh, you know, turn over line outs, contact there is quite big. And to be fair to Cadwell Devery, they've, they've taken their chances. We saw Harrison James there being bandaged up. He's the only specialist fly like half in the squad. Confidence he's all right at, and what's the plan if he isn't? Yeah, I think he's all right. I think we'll just assess it at half time. I think if we need to, we'll have a plan B with Johan in the centre. We can't play uh, at 10 as well, so we'll just assess it just at half time, really. Thanks, Jan. That was Ian Evans, the uh, Cardiff forwards coach. Yanto, as he's known. Lion in Australia in 2013 and a double Grand Slam winner and a championship winner as well. So three Six Nations titles, now doing the forwards at Cardiff, particularly the line out. Four playing the arm in the One air. of the great characters as well product of Abercum Boy in the Cunning Valley in the Cardiff Rugby region but once again it's Land Devery who've just uh, from Johan Hughes just dinked play up to the Cardiff 22 just to see what Land Devery will do here Lee Reese is hanging back which suggests there might be a drive, a peel a, a quick breakout play, something, something like that because uh, you know, he's uh, he's hanging a fair way back. The uh, throw goes astray, though. Ten to go to half-time. Dan Devery with a two-score lead. And Cardiff have yet to get off the bus, as they say. Maynard. Again, you could see him sheltering his eyes. Oh, lovely pass to Adam Warren. Uh, Aaron Warren on this left-hand side. Reese again. Jamie Hughes, the loose head, they're getting more and more confident, fancying their chances more and more, Slandevery. Into the 22 again. See this man? Leave it come now, Red! Leave it! Advantage. It has been turned by Cardiff. And they get the penalty too, so a chance for them to get away from uh, their own 22. You're then off your feet. Good use of the short side again, though, by Sandevri. You know, they're using, getting Lee oh, Reese out down the short side, running threat, which holds the first defender and trusts the second one. You know, Johan Hughes there possibly could have gone a bit further at the line, but they're just making yards every time they seem to get the ball, aren't they? And, uh, and with Cardiff's line out looking as though it's malfunctioning. And the line kicking as well, and uh, Johan Hughes as well did a brilliant effort to keep that in. Aaron Warren popping up in the midfield. Yeah, wonderful work by Johan Hughes, conjured his hands on the touchline. And they look, Reese. I know it's a, a very simplistic thing to say, but they look as if they're enjoying what they're doing, Slandovery, at the moment. They're confident, they're free. Yep. I'm released they, too. Everybody's getting their hands on the ball, everybody's contributing to the performance, they're, they're backing up, they're no, supporting, no. you know, runners, anticipating busts, and, and they're working hard for each other, aren't they? And Cardiff gets them go forward now. That's their own 10 metre line. Yes. They've got eight minutes to go to half time. Swung along the back line, but it's that's and every first up defence is there. There's going to be not much option for Cardiff, I was about to say, for Haberfield. You see the body language on Haberfield. He's not happy. One blue is it Another penalty to Slend every and another chance to click that scoreboard. Absolutely, and 16 points down in a 
16 points down in a final approaching half time is, is a bit of a mountain to climb really you know I, I, I appreciate that that La Rochelle came Wait, back from 17 down game after game. 13 minutes but you know at least they had almost the whole of the game to chase that sort of scoreline but at the moment it doesn't look like Cardiff are really troubling the Stephen Derby defence at all so it seems a long way back doesn't it Here's that Johan Hughes, bit of skill. Wait, you <laughs> no need way. to do that. That was just showboating. He no, stayed in, either. but it was lovely to watch. Given the crowd what they wanted, didn't they? <laughs> Guys, can we have someone to sort out a connection through the camera, please? Brother of Steph Hughes, who's uh, on. Uh, I can now, Wayne, yeah. Welsh commentary, and you saw him doing pitch side beforehand. I know, I know he's a friend of mine, but he's been an excellent signing for the Dragons this year, Steph Hughes. He's been, he's been brilliant. He's, uh, I'm pleased that he's got himself a club, and uh, as I say, an excellent signing for the Dragons. And he's not bad on the mic either. Hopefully not too good though. Huh? Give a give a couple of us a chance. Jack Maynard, he's already put over two penalties and improved the Lee Reese try. And uh, just a different bit of fade on that one. Right to left fade. Was it left to right fade? It didn't matter. Down the middle it went. Another one. Four from four for Maynard. <laughs> they to support the ball carrier more. Yep. It's uh, it's very one-sided at the moment, isn't it? I think Steve Law is gonna will probably give give Cardiff boys a bit of a rocket at half time. And they just need they need to put two or three good phases of play together. At the moment, they can't seem to they seem to turn the ball over cheaply. They do something good, got the ball here. They need to hold the pill here and and and, and build a bit of pressure. First excursion really from Cardiff into the Flandre every 22. This. Can they make it pay? No rise off feet. Good listening one. Aberfield. Hint of something on that far side. Can they get Dowie Cross involved? The 20 try man this season. Scott Andrews. No Bubba as he's known. Haberfield. This is a bit better from Cardiff. Pinches. Five to go to half time. They get a penalty Good to the blue and blacks. 13 clear release, I take please. Three here. You'd want to get on the board. Yeah, I, I think I think you know you, you've not come away with much at all this half. Your line out's been a you know hasn't been the most accurate thing in the world. I don't know. 13 red you know, clear release. Where that's coming from, and it, you know, Harrison James looks like he's going to go to the post here. And I think that's something on the board, a chance to regroup. And 16 to 3 down at half time, uh, despite the fact that it's only a penalty, is a lot more appealing to me okay. than 16 yeah, 0. Blood change, blood change, yeah. Yeah. yeah, kind of, you know, a bit more intent about them there, didn't they? They, they seem to be carrying with a bit more intent got over the game line which makes the game an awful lot easier a lovely player double stack off yeah, a midfield ruck which is what I was talking to Steph he was about pre-game where it means that Harrison James can get a little bit wider and they okay, can get mate. the ball to the edge channel point. where obviously that's where their real danger men so are change main, Matt? In, in, in Derry Cross and Cameron Winnett Harrison James good to see him back after his uh, his uh, awkward twist earlier on and he puts over Cardiff's first points they're on the board the blue and blacks Have they got a Play quite forward. a bit to make up yet. That clutch completely wrong. Make sure they're on side. Three and a half minutes to half time. Wait, their last feet. No. He's fine. Use! Haberfield. No. That Taken on halfway. Got three minutes, nine. I'm released, Blue! ground again by Berry and Watkins just inching himself over the gain line keeping his side going forward which they've done yep. virtually all half
Good contest, gents. Balls in the air. Not on ball. Lee Rees has to go digging. The score of the only try of the half. Land every scrum half comes to this narrow side. Picks it up again and goes back into strength. Thank you, Wayne. Austin Davis acting as the emergency scrum half. Tackle release. Reese again, just keeping that Cardiff back row on it. Using Berry and Watkins. Knock on given, Cardiff get the turnover anyway. That's uh, Rhys Barrett, the sub, out to the left-hand side. Knock on advantage over! But it's still all rather going through the motions at the moment for Cardiff as, uh, Touch. as uh, Haberfield switches back to the blind. Maynard's pass into Yohan Hughes. Last feet here, gents. Into the final minute of the half, and Sandevery with a handy lead. Arrive up, Red! Hughes! No, one minute. Reese, the educated left boot of the scrum half, propels it into the capital city sky. 50-22. Uh, good reply, though. I've just got a collision there, boys. Anyone got anything different? Not quite a 50-22. Thank you. 30 seconds. So what probably be, will be the last play as we look at some of the youngsters from Slandevery waving the flags. A big contingent of Slandevery yeah, fans have come down. Three bus loads. And uh, some in cars as well. well Slandevery makes some ground at the line-out. No, no. Dead. Leave it come! And this will probably be put off. And Lee Reese happy with what he's done this half. Relax, Scored a try boys, thank you. to add to three penalties and a conversion by Jack Maynard. Harrison James with the the penalty for Cardiff. So it's a handy lead for Slandevery and a deserved lead as well. 16-3 they lead Cardiff at the Arms Park. Join us for English commentary in the second half.
Croeson Hall i Barger Arfa, 1-6 yw'r sgôr ar yr ego i lan y cais cyntaf gêm yn dod i lan ymddefru unig cais y gêm ac mi roedd i ni'n rhagorol chwarae cefnogol gwych a liris oedd ar ddiwedd y bas yr ymwelwyr si efo am y popeth yn mynd o blaid lan ymddefru ar y funed mae momentwm yn ei dwylo nhw um, maen nhw'n cadw'r sgorfwrdd i droi yn dawel bach ac yn edrych yn fygythiol iawn gyda'r bêl yn ei dwylo a'r is patrol mae'r pwysau wir a'r cyrdydd O di ma fe, maen nhw mae'n llyn dyfu di mae wedi jychu'r rhan yn yna fel sy'n nhw sy'n mynd i gipio'r plws ar ddiwedd y gêm achos ni rheoli'r gêm Mae Cyrdy wedi cael un cafle, Domer wedi cael tre phwynt oddi oedd cic os, bo'n ond i bai am ni, mae'n llyn dyfu'n jychu'r yn, yn hynod gyffordus um, uh, yn amddiffynol, ond mae wedi cael un cafle i sgori cais, mae wedi cymryd i, felly yeah, nhw, nhw sy'n rheoli'r gêm yn llwyr yn rhan y cynt yma. A sut yn union maen nhw yn rheoli'r gêm, achos mae hyder o'i plaid nhw nawr, ond yn gynnar iawn nhw'n i'n gweld nhw'n gorfodi Cyrdy, ddi wneud camgymeriadau yeah, ifan. Yn sicr, fi'n gyrru ar un o bryd, popeth, with, popeth mae gyrdydd fel arfen dda yn y e, trwy gydol y tymor, yn dweud maen nhw'n bod cwyrdeb nhw yn y, yn y llinell di, di bod yn dda, a, 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 a heddi, mae wedi bod yn hollol gwrth gyferbyniol gyda'r wnes, sy'n llinell di bod yn ymyn yn dda, ond on fyny ni'n gweld ar yn war yn y neud yn wych, camryn nhw'n neud yn neud hanner bylchiad, ond ar yn war, a, war yn neud yn neud y daclyn ni'n siel a mynd nôl ar ei drad a, a dwy'n y bêl. Ond wedi'n fyny'n, just... Uh, mistakes heb, heb i sech. Ima ma, so, sim llandyfri yn gorfodi nhw'n neud yn byd, ond mae'r ma so cic gyda camera yn wyneb, jyst y, y mynd bach yn rhy bell, a'n i gweld, gweld fyny'n hefyd um, jyst, yn, jyst yn gollwn y bell, ond a, a, a fel nethon ni'n sôn, mae'r llinell ti bod yn, yn wendid mor i gyrdydd, a mae hwnna fel arfer yn agwedd o'r gêm, le mae uh, gyrdydd yn, yn, yn dwm mewn i'r gêm, felly mae hwnna'n golled mor yno. A, yn platform i ddyn nhw'n sgorio, ni wedi gweld nhw mynd am y triff point yn rhan nol, rwy'n so herwydd y llinell o boseb, ond gair am unig a Leary, so ni moyn sôn cyn y gem am y ffordd mae'r olwyr ar blaenwyr yn cyfuno am y ffordd mae'r tîm i gyd yn cyfuno Ia, yeah, maen nhw'n dîm da unwaith, unwaith maen nhw ar y llinell a, ar y drod flan yn hytrach maen ma nhw'n drychu i dadlwytho'r bêl maen ma nhw'n gwybod, unwaith maen nhw'n maes yna a maen nhw'n teimlo fel se, fel se cyfle nhw i dadlwytho dyna'r dyna meddylfryd, dyna nhw ddim yn tacio ac yn cario maen nhw'n drychu i symud y bêl a, a Leary, mae fe'n rhaid ag y lain dyle bob mewn o'r dar eraig, mae cymaint o brofiad dyfe, dros tri chant o gemau, dros y clwb, ond um, fyna hyn, y peth hawdd i waren i wneud yw tacar bêl ag i mynd am y gornel, ond yn gwybod, mwy na thebyd, mae rhywun yn fi'n fwynt sefyllfa gwell i gario'r bêl ag i wneud rhywbeth ychwanegol gyda'r bêl, ag felly mae'r momentwm yn parhau i mwyn i wneud synwyr lle, dwi'n meddwl yn drych i ni farw gyda'r bêl, a mynd i'r cymal nes, a mae wastad y, y bwriad i symud i. Ie, ti'n meddwl bod digon i ddod yn y gêm, a fe welso ni merthyr yn cadw eu hunan yn y frwydr wrth nosdweitha, go bosib bydd Cydydd yn gallu wneud yr un peth. San ymddyfru y mynd am eu teitl cyntaf, ydyn nhw'n gallu gwneud ni, dewch nôl ym hen dwy funud.
Cross and all, E. Barker Arven at Halo and Bra, Triffoint at the Egg, Singwahani, Rai Dim, Inde Quehi Dri, Irem Wellwer, Ararego, La Kimbo, the Game and Al, the Hrani Miglawed, or Thai Aror, Seol, Grastapils. Yeah, we got come near Dan Fish. Fishy, a bit of a difficult half for you boys. What's the messages to go into the second half? Uh, uh, kicking game needs to be more accurate, you know, uh, we're just kicking the ball to the middle of the field, which is opening up all avenues for Landovry, so when you tidy that up, and we've also spoken about our contact area, just being quicker and more aggressive in that area, just so we can look after that ball and go through multi-phase. Yeah, defensively, obviously, you're competing really hard over the ball, and it's worked well, it's just about that balance for the second half, is it? Yeah, like we said, we've got 40 minutes out to put this right, you know, uh, it's been a long old year, 16-3 down, you know, we got everything to give second half now, so I think the boys will be going even harder, if I'm honest. Great, thanks, Dan, all the best, mate. Cheers. Ricky Guest, of course, uh, and Cadu Cum, maybe Guest, he had a good game. He did not get a say on him, Ryle Hannerman. Just a mission all a defender, mission he can't have any stress for him. Um, and he had his attack, attack, attack video, and I'm a, I'm a Ryle Hanner. Great, did you know what he's Pablo, do you know I read Patrick Elman right now, he's a good guy. Oscoy, Sevasvas, I'm going to do a chat so game. I'm going to do a little bit of yeah, we carry both boys. Sig both one min mask and our body of my riding was scary. Can't turn around and my Austin and them need any my 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 talking go galaxy or Norland. Yeah, but we carry we carry both boys. Sig is one of the three needs. That's how I like. But no, them and it's the Norland and three of them. Uh, uh, a score sicr yn nhw, mae'n rhaid nhw fe mas, a mae'n rhaid nhw fe ni sgorio. Yn mewn bryd i ti fynd dim i nhw a phil stil ar gyfer sylwedd y Saesneg, there's English language commentary available on, a, on Enna Gymraeg, Ivan Phillips, a Seth Hewitt sy'n cadw cwmni i Owen Gwynedd. Thank you, Lauren. Welcome back to the English language commentary. We are 40 minutes away from the end of the season and can Llandevry hang on to this lead? to become champions for the first ever time. The Drovers won the Cup in 2016, but they've never won this league. Cardiff looking to be back-to-back -back champions. Only the fourth team that'll Use. have done that. Lee Rees, the try scorer. What an influence he was in the first half. And you would think that uh, Cardiff coach Steve Law would have given the hairdryer the curling tongs and the straighteners in his team talk at half-time to try and get the blue and blacks going. Reese Barrett there you just seen on full-time now for Mark Thomas. Now Cardiff, well, I was about to say that's better for them at the start of the half, but a forward pass given. Just when Dowie Cross had his uh, 21st try of the season in his sights. Uh, delighted to say that Chris Patchell is uh, back with me. What do you reckon uh, Steve Law would have said at half time? Well, we know what Iros Evans, Land Every coach, would have said. Just keep going, boys, probably. But what would Steve Law have said? It's not yet nine o'clock, uh, Steely, so I'm not sure I could tell you what uh, what Mr. Law said. But no, Great. he's um, obviously he's given them a rocket, isn't he? They, they've got 40, 40 minutes to sort this out, and good to see a bit more intent. Wanted to shift the ball there, and intend to play. That's what they need. But he's just patience. I'll be and Shandover, he just keep up the effort, yeah, yeah. keep up Sorry. the enthusiasm. Absolutely, they, they've competed particularly hard at the breakdown. That Cardiff haven't got anything from the attack and contact area, which which makes the game very very difficult if you're not on the front. If you're not on the front foot, it's difficult to get things to happen. And yeah, absolutely, the defensive effort has been very good. Just He's taking against. the points and, and see where it ends up. Christ. Well, these teams have met 41 times in their history. Cardiff have won 21, Stand W 19, and there's been one draw. They first met way back in the 1990 season in the amateur era. And that's a good scrum by the Drovers. They'll be happy with that. They've got a penalty coming as well. That's an excellent start to the second half for Stand you flick that back then. <laughs> Interesting to see what they do here. They are now playing into the wind. And it's surprising, down at pitch level, the wind is a bit stronger than it is up here. Or it feels a lot stronger. We're, of course, sheltered in the commentary uh, in the commentary position. So, Oh, here we go. Well, they spotted something on their left-hand side of the Drovers. And the kick through rather negated it. As Goodchild tries to run it out. But at least they've pinned Cardiff in the 22. 
Jesus! And this, is, this is what I was talking about earlier with that repeat set mentality where by now, you know, Cardiff have sort of got themselves with an organised line, but the kick, Always in, you know, Jason. could stay in, could stay out. Isn't everybody going to get another opportunity? Great to see them, the intent. Cardiff had obviously anticipated Johan Hughes' setup as though he was going to kick the touch and everybody sort of switched off and, and great to see that they're alert to the opportunity. I think there's, there's an awful lot of it out in the game. You could have excused them at 16-3 for taking the time, slowing it down, going down the line, trying to get a, a, a catch and drive. But, it, yeah, as you say, nice to see a bit of enterprise. And I think like, the next score is important for both teams. It's a massive momentum swing either way. Nice quick ball from Tandavri. A line-out successful at last for them. And there's a bust-up through the middle as well, almost up to the 22. Beautiful quick ball for Lee Reese, and the drill was on the front foot again. Accommodators curse, holding on. Great clean steal though. Great clean steal from Cam Winnett. Sees the opportunity, gets over the ball, is all ball, doesn't touch the floor at all. I mean, Time's fantastic up, to see the, the tight head come around. This is the start to play. Lovely, look how straight Rodri Jones is there. He doesn't drift, pins the first defender, the seven for Cardiff. Nathan Hud, which means that Harrison James is left on his own. And this is the turnover, look at this. Okay, Scott. Straight on the ball. Yeah, against a tight head prop. Barry and Watkins, the guilty party. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Carriers on. I think Landovri's angles of running and their lines of running. They've stayed unbelievably square. They stayed very square for the for the try uh, that they scored in the first half on the edge. Lovely and square there from Rodri Jones and. Say that's a that's a coaching team that's pretty content with uh, with how things have gone so far. But no, the importance of three points or five points, whatever it is next, to really give Cardiff a mountain to climb. Steve Law, the Cardiff coach, on the left of your screen, alongside him, Griff Reese, who's the director of the pathway here at the Arms Park. Right, I'm just looking at. Cardiff's set up here as they're walking to the lineup. Morgan Allen's been left We're in the middle of the field. Anyway, Six man line out. Slightly easier to win, of course, than the traditional seven man full line out. And you hope that Cardiff can, can get something moving from their set piece. They haven't had much in the first half at all, did they? Yeah, Morgan Allen's such a big player for Cardiff, the skipper. If you haven't seen any of his uh, line breaks, that he's so Didn't survive. well known for getting momentum going in that midfield for Cardiff. Come back. Once again, it's all a bit behind the gain line and a little bit manic. An error strewn for Cardiff. They do get a bit of go forward at the end, though, up to halfway. Last feet. Seems to be a bit more oomph in Cardiff's carrying in the middle of the field. Makes Harrison James's life an awful lot easier as an outside half. Still slovenly well, ball position. though for no Haberfield. Tackle release! The dummy runners as well. On this blind side, Nathan Hunt, the final receiver. Penalty coming for Cardiff. Harrison James with a kick to nothing. Here Looking we go. to good child on that far side. No Doesn't advantage. get the bounce, so they will come back for the penalty. Three now then, away. do they chip away at the Three lead or do they uh, go for position and try and get a seven pointer? No if effort. this kick was on the 15 and not on the five, I think you'd probably end up saying, right, we'll have a shot at three here and, and chip away. But this is, I mean, that's a very, very tough kick. James, time's off, he's not going to ball. But great to see a bit more intent. The yards after contact is way better than it was in the first half. The legs are driving, they're fast over the ball, which means they can play away. Turn on. You know, the prop will... Any forward there says that they've been pinned, but they know what they're doing, just lying there trying to slow the ball down. Cardiff into the land every 22. Didn't see that a lot in the first half. 
No, but the only time they did get down there, they took three points. So it's, it's something to build on. Five-man line. And the first real look at the Cardiff driving line-out as well. And it's after 47 minutes, and it's not a bad one. Well, they tried themselves on this to Steve Law's men, and you can see why. And it's like there's an advantage coming if Sandevery do split here. This could be danger all the way. Now to ground, they've got a penalty coming, remember? Yes, they do. And after the, after the driving mall like that, Greece, you would think more of the same. I would imagine so. That's that's a real turn up for the books after after their set piece in the first half. But yeah, absolutely, okay. put it in the corner. You were saying it's, it's such a massive part of their game. It's something you almost you you anticipate Cardiff line out and drive. It's almost Ebbovale used to have one, didn't they? With Kynes at the back, catching Kynes, yeah, yeah. Ronnie Kynes, legend, went to uh, New Eagle after that. Here we go with a five-man. Line out again for Cardiff. It's uh, overthrown though. And Sandavri will be delighted with that. A real coach killer, as they call it. Penalty coming. Time off. We will Time come off. back. Thank you, gents. Oh, 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 yeah, Ronnie Kynes, as you uh, you remember, He's, I think he scored about uh, 18 or 19 tries from that, all from that move the, the one season. I think Ebbleville won the, uh, the they won the playoff at Pont de Prix. I remember covering that one, and I remember interviewing him for Radio Wales, and I said, "Can you explain this catch in Kynes move?" He's a great character, and he said, uh, "This was his words." He said, "Chunky throws it to Adi." They put all the ugly ones at the front to push, and I get the glory. That was, that was the you coaching points of the Catch and Kynes line out drive. Great detail. <laughs> Great level okay, of detail. That's right. exactly what they're working on in the week. Okay. All I've seen is your hands okay, on this player holding him on the floor. Okay, I won't okay. Do it again. Yeah, Vail, of course, just missing out on the anyway. yeah. top but the four. Are unnecessary. They're holding okay. in, that's all. Right, listen, that's fine. listen, okay. I'm listening. If if they are holding you in, yeah. let us deal with it. You don't take the law into your own hands. And the best burgers in uh, the Welsh Premiership there. Oh, you're Eugene Cross Park, the the Steiner Glass Stadium, Ebervale. If you're ever up there. How, how many, how many yeah. stars have we given them? Oh, five. Oh, five. Oh, Thumbs off. Definitely. Six. No room for improvement then? No room for improvement whatsoever. Fabulous. What are you, what are you rating the pies? Well, whilst we're waiting for this break and play then, so, what, give, us, give us a top three. Oh, premiership. Prem. Oh, yeah. um, premiership, best pies, Aberavon. <coughs> Corn beef. I've heard a lot. I've heard Corn a lot of good beef things. Homemade, fabulous. Right, there's there's one. Obviously, Ebbervale. I've got good burgers. Yes. Yeah. Any, anywhere else? Uh, you'll get a good part. Every you'll get good good grub okay. at Every as well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we are. If you want a good pie, Aberavon is the best place to go. Yeah. Hughes, uh, Billy, basic to touch, but uh, yes, please, gets mate. him out of the 22. Two, and the cavalry are coming on for Cardiff here. Alan Reese on. Uh, um, Alan Reese off. Evan Lloyd on. Freddie Barnes on as well. For Scott Andrews. No seven. And Ethan Phillips off. And uh, Mackenzie Martin coming on. Wales in the 20s international. This is better from Cardiff now in the second half. They've got more territory and possession. But it's still what you're seeing in the top left of your screen. It's still Flandevery's lead. Martin takes it up. Into something for. Dowie Cross. Harry Dole. It's five took scrum. Taken over as well. That's a five meter scrum. Blue scrum. Took it over, yeah. So a real good chance now for Cardiff. Thank you. Absolutely. Like, really good decision here from Dowie Cross. Sees Jack Maynard. Oh, not Jack Maynard. Whoever's on the edge there, obviously, Harry Dole is sort of covering across. But the last player, big space in the backfield. Real clever decision to kick. 
shifting the ball to space can win it lovely flat pass here but look at that loads yes, of green go, space in the back of the field to, to roll the ball into and then you're forcing decisions from from players in the backfield Cardiff with the scrum put in of course let's go uh, a comment on those three forward changes would that have been uh, that, that, that wouldn't have been preordained surely at 47 minutes no you'd have thought not but you can you can see what Steve Law has told them is lads we've got half an hour you've got to bring some energy here and, and give the boys a, a bit of a boost and, and Mackenzie Martin first time he gets the ball straight up the field every one of the Cardiff replacements bench as they get another penalty every one of the Cardiff replacements bench bar Jacob Lloyd is uh, from the academy as Cardiff uh, this season they've decided to use the rags as they call them Cardiff RFC as a uh, a bona fide second team of their professional team. We're going to hit at a height we can keep. Both of us. Which is obviously great He's for the standard of the Premiership and great for the development of players. Absolutely, the, you know you've got to you've got to play to get better. Is is a big Patience, sort of mantra that I'd have. It's, it's great that I, I appreciate this conditioning blocks and you've got to you've got to do the work physically as well. But ultimately, if you're a rugby player, you've got to be playing rugby to get better. Right. I like just get the feeling that. Uh, Gents. 51 and a half minutes gone that okay. this you hit down, could be you a compelling off, moment okay. of the game you already this scrum you don't step off he's going to hold his weight throw you back your off. comments earlier early on you said the next score is going to be vital absolutely I, I i'd agree with you very very important moment in the game i felt when they when cardiff kicked to the corner and they had an opportunity for the driving line out after their previous one that took them 15 20 meters up the field that was that was a key moment in the game, and, and, and you could see the reaction from the every players that they felt that they got away with it, so this is equally as important for me. Good height, keep I've got high. Dowie Cross, the 20 try left winger, lurking with intent behind the scrum, but Slandavery have absolutely steamrolled at Cardiff, and Lee Reese, no uh, uh, Reese brother, the scrum half, has come away with it. And talking about Hughes. compelling moments in the game, how big might that be? Terrific scrum drive. Those are, those are massive moments for like an energy That's of a team here, where, where it almost becomes this unshakable belief well today they're not going to get past this with a, with a set piece try and Flandevery have come out of that with a line out 30 metres from their line off a Cardiff scrum ball it just, it just feeds the energy of a team I, the lift that that will give the Flandevery forwards knowing like, well they've given their best on a driving line out and they, I appreciate that it was it was a bit of an ugly, uh, an ugly line-out, but they resisted them. A scrum opportunity resisted them again. And a third opportunity. Got, another Cardiff line-out has gone awry. And Flandevery would be happy with that. And you can see Johan Hughes in encouraging his force. He knows the importance of these big moments in the game. Harry Dolan giving the lads a tap on the back. And it is en it's energy sapping. I know it's energy sapping for both teams to have to work set pieces, but... You know, it must be it must be soul destroying getting up from a scrum or a yeah. line out or a mall or whatever it is, and Three. knowing that you've got to run backwards rather than forwards. Three. There's Dan Fish doing the water boy duties today, having had to retire. He was hoping that this would be his last game, but uh, unfortunately, there he is. He had a, a broken hand. A great Cardiff here, one of only two players who's played a hundred games for the professional arm of Cardiff and the the Rags, the RFC. Arm of the club. Okay, we all good on our feet, gents. I think James Down is the other one. Would that be right? That was the name that I had in mind. Both great servants of the club. Both great characters. You know, good, good yeah, Cardiff lads. Goes on on the set. Let's so go, I had the pleasure of playing with when I was coming through. And um, yeah, sad as we were mentioning earlier for Fishy that he doesn't quite get the swan song on on the arms pack that he was hoping for. I remember a great interview that Ross Harris did on uh, Scrum Five with him once, and Ross said. Uh, how do you know, uh, you know, when you're playing at fullback? How do you, you know, what, how do you decide when you're going to run it or, or, or what game you're going to play? He said, in his lovely splot card, if he said, if it's on, I runs it. If it's not, I kicks it. Great rugby character, and we'll go down as one of the greats up there with Terry Holmes and Mike Ray as and Mark Ring, people players like that as as great Cardiffian club man. Second man. But this is Flandevery's game at the moment. Founder members of the Welsh Rugby Union, of course, Flandevery. And I know that down there amongst the crowd there, Chairman Handel Davis, who's an absolute uh, 
club legend will be uh, willing them on their last yeah advantage what is You've it? Got to release. he's released the ball you must release him play an advantage 25 minutes or so the president rather no advantage that we come to the stand every present and i don't know if you know this but handle uh handle davis is uh, on first name terms he's with king charles i don't know if you knew that because king tackle, charles has got him. uh yeah, land we, down near church, that, we'll church bank the flandevery ground and um, has attended events at flandevery yeah, and uh, handle is always the man who sort of looks after him shows him mm. around and Time is says up. hello yeah that's it so i'm not sure who that guy with the crown is on his head but that's handle next to him <laughs> that's the conversation in flandevery but again a great man there are lots of great characters aren't there in this premiership you know great you know, great, great committee men, great board members, great, great players, great coaches, characters. Yeah, and, and you know, I, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably guilty of being one yeah, of them, Phil, is you that mate, you almost you see a camera come in front of you and you don't want to say anything just in case you say the wrong thing or some, it's it's taken in the wrong way. But but you're right, this, this level of, uh, at the semi-pro level, is full of great characters and, and they're not a dying breed, but you don't see as many of them about anymore. People feel the need to hide them and... And it's yeah, part of what makes rugby great, isn't it? That you have all these, all the, the, the width and depth and breadth of characters. I, I always thought when I first went to Scarlet's, what, a, uh, what almost a mismatch of players we had in terms of we were sort okay. of all not so, thrown together, but Jack, you had Rob Evans, the farmer, Ken Owens, the sheriff of Carmarthen, Samson Lee, obviously with his cultural background, John Barkley, Scottish captain, you know, all these wonderful characters all thrown together and that's what makes the game great and that's what we should celebrate about the game. Dwayne, did you get a number and on that? with a I chance so. to get right back down into that card at 22 and he's gone for goal there as Jon Hughes I love that he's got to do it the, the difference in how you defend the driving line out from 20 yards to 10 yards out is, is massive it's a different setup entirely you've got to commit different number of players everybody's in a different position because the goal line drive line out setup is a, is, a, is a very delicate, intricate beast. Now, what has Flandevery got from their driving line out? This has been a weapon for them this season and as well. A little bit lateral at the moment. Opens up a big short side, though. Don't change. Now they've got a bit of a, they've got a penalty coming. May, may not need it, though, the Drovers. They're driving on who's in steerage class at the back, but it's been sacked. At last by Cardiff. But it's a great position still to this narrow side. Kenton right, Debbie Force over in the corner. Lee Reese digging. Goes to a posse of four. Is this the compelling moment of the match? Reese again going to the open side. In the shadow of the Cardiff Post. Here comes Reese to the right hand side. Jamie Hughes, the loose head. It's just in she's now. Brilliant. Shot. Brilliant tackle. No advantage, the turnover is legal. We're going back. We are going back for the penalty though. Now he is a call, Phil. What would you do here? I think I'd keep the momentum going and go for the uh, the touch. Yeah, I feel it's it's almost You're good. it's almost an easy exit for Cardiff. Jensen, I know they go, only please. concede three. I know they do concede three, but the game is back in Kendavri's half, and they're going to kick and Cardiff would get a counter attack opportunity, and that is five yards from the goal line, which is another different setup entirely. Good there, you can feel the momentum. You can feel the energy from the from the Kendavri crowd here, willing yeah, their team on, can't you? Yeah, there's some of them there from the mini and junior section. A lot of them from the Mia Junior section. Well, they've had a little bit of a players' meeting before this line-out. They take it at the front. Inside it's the all five. about the drive now. David Hughes in steerage class at the back. It's creeping to the touchline. This is going to be a difficult one to decipher. They've got it back, though. This is all about a race around the corner now, Steely. Who can get around the corner the fastest? 
still holding it in. Lee Reese, does he go left with a pot of four or right? Oh. Knocked on, it's all academic. Cardiff survive. But the game is in the right area of the field as far as the W are concerned. Go, at, the, at the moment, it doesn't feel like Cardiff are, are going to offer enough an attack to really trouble them defensively. So they'll be quite happy that, that the game is, is on the Cardiff try line. Maybe they should have taken the three, eh? Captain Hindsight. That was the pass, well, it's a little bit high, but it should have been taken. I suppose it's the pound signs in the eyes, isn't it, when you see the try line just behind you and you're running at full tilt. And a big line of people ready to hit you. <laughs> yeah, that is that. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd agree with you there, I feel. Very good pass for the ball, obviously, years on the seventh circuit, Lee Reese, but you probably want a carrying pass there towards, towards the pocket, as it were, so you can get nice and low. You're not trying to catch high and duck Five. late into the into the tackle or into the carry. Six. Free kick given. Early 18. Early engage. And a decent touch finder. Let's go down to Lauren. He's with Joe Rogers, the Slendery team manager. Change. I need one hour off and then I'm permitted to entry a chair and get a Joe Rogers. I need to meet the translator for the Kai. I'm going to try to get the Matthew story. Oh, I'll ask you more about the Matthew story. I'm going to think of the people who are going to be in the team, the Prig, the Tabel, the family, the Kerdiver, the Peter, the Penig. So, yeah, I'm going to be in the world. 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 Ydy, ydy, tôn mae'r rhywbeth ni'n gweithio arno trwy tymor, tôn dim dim ond tafli peil rownd ond mae sgarmes dyn ni fyd, so na, tôn mae fe wedi mynd ymddaan, tôn mae ffordd hir i fynd to. Diolch yn mael, Joe. Trill blast, we'll have to have a look at that on the replay. We never need to, never mind about seeing it, we could hear it, couldn't we? It was a real, real crash of uh, an amalgam of limbs. Cardiff have uh, conceded 10 metres for good old-fashioned chopsing. Taking him out in here. We'll probably maybe see a replay after the kick. Oh, another great kick. He's gone for goal again there, Johan Hughes. Here's the replay. Oh, it's good Charles has done well there. He's realised that he's not in a realistic position. He's tried to pull out, but as he's hitting the deck... <coughs> Harry Dole, who is in a realistic position, has caught the ball and fallen into him. It's um, a, a rugby collision, as they or a rugby incident, as they say. Yeah, good referee in from Mike English there. He was right there, saw it straight away. Didn't waste time going to the TMO. As Cardiff build the line out. 19 minutes. We're into the final quarter of the 260 days since the Premiership started. The final quarter of the final. Slandavri have never won the competition before. Can they hang on? We've yet to see a score in the second half. And it's no less compelling for that. Slandavri seem to have got a bit more momentum going. And I think we're going to have another look at, look at this. A possible tip tackle. Okay. Gents. I've got 12. Guys, just come here a second, mate. Just take your boys back more. Okay. I've got 12 blue. There's a tip tie. He tips the player. For me, he lands on his shoulder. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a check, check. Uh, it's a check, Mike, check. Mike, is it? Check. Okay. Four more check. Thank yeah, you, gents. Okay. A flat pass in the first instance, I'd have said. And then. Mike, you're looking at it's Cardiff 12 of the player is, okay? Yeah, just hang on, mate. We're making our way to the screen now. This is. Ooh, yeah. 
I mean, I, I think for me, they unfortunately, regardless of where he lands on the body, the intent is he's beyond the horizontal and he's driven him into the floor. Like, there, Mike? Yeah, I'm at the screen now, mate. Remember, it is outcome, not intent. Okay, if you play it, guys. The referee goes by on TMO. If he doesn't tuck his head, then he's landing on his head. Look at this. Tucks at the last minute and turns onto his shoulder. Can you hear me, Mike? Yeah, I can, mate. Just show us that angle again. Hello, it was a double tackle. I think they've got, picked up Aaron Pinches. Second angle coming up, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Mike. he's the man. Is one, Mike? Okay. Just in the final tackle. So, there is a clear lift for me from 12 there. Um, I, I guess what we need to decipher is whether that second player, the 18, has had any impact on that lift. I don't... Wayne, to me, it doesn't look like he has because he's no, on the floor by the time doesn't. he's lifted. No, he doesn't. And then the red player has actually put his hand out to break his fall. Yeah. Um, if he doesn't do that, he's landing on his head, so I'm at a high degree of danger here. Wayne, have you got any... No, you're right so far. No, I can't disagree with that. It's... It's a shoulder. It's 12 fall over 18. Which causes Wayne Davis is the TMO. Looks like the shoulder he lands on. So he lands on his shoulder, so that, that can mitigate us down yeah. to a yellow then. Yeah. Okay, so we yellow card in yellow for a... 12. Uh, yeah, yellow card, 12, blue. For a tip tackle, he's landed on his shoulder. Good work, boys, thank you. There's the... I was just thinking to myself, haven't we done well to not have any TMO interventions in the game so far? It is a tip tackle. He's landed on his shoulder. It's a yellow card. Fair enough. Well, yeah, he's, explained his, he's explained his decision making. They've gone through it quite thoroughly with the with the television match official. I I see the the outcome they've come to. I just mean that card of the they mountain to climb, haven't they? Their attack. They've had a bit more intense about their attack, and there's been a bit more tempo in the second half about their attack, but. Sorry, the really? game has gone back to being planted down in their territory and uh, you know, they're going to find it difficult once again to get out Just of here. It's another lovely nudge from Johan Hughes. His line kicking has been absolutely pinpoint. No distance lost at all. Inside. It's not quite Thank a you. five metre line out, but it's not far off it. No, his foot was on the floor. Play I'm sure on. that was the best throw though. But they managed to tidy it up. Lee Reese again. Powell replacement the posts of Cardiff in the background we're still waiting for the first score of the second half the score that Chris Patchell said would be the most important one possibly of the match something on that left hand side for Sandevery almost on the line the advantage no oh, it's a knock on first it was knocked on a pass just dying. Come on! Time off. Changes, gents. Adam Warren was the man. Six and ten. What a take. I think it was yesterday. Reset in the wide channel there. The floated ball from, from Hughes. The right pass. Not quite enough on it. Cameron Winnett looks to be in a bit of discomfort there, but does really well. I told you he was an accurate player in the first half. Holds up the ball. Look at this. Late double pump. Stays in the field of play, really good play from then. Unfortunately, a knock on, but it's just a scrum. Yes, and he's doing all the right stuff in the white channel there. Short, so it's not going to come out. We're just by here. Oh, I was a knock on off red. So they're still down in Cardiff yeah, territory. Yeah. You, you, you played a lot of rugby in your time. You you will have been in positions like this. You will have been in very important matches like this. Um, when so the stand up, start calls, looking please. at that clock and thinking, let's start counting. Or not? Yet. Not yet. Not yet. Not for me. Not until you're in the sort of the last five minutes of the game. I think they'll be quite comfortable that the clock is ticking away and they're this far ahead Correct. and they're down in Cardiff's territory. But to park the bus 17 minutes out from the end of the game is you could get a cheap interception, you get a charge, you get anything, and, and then all of a sudden it's game on. So for me, you're still chasing a, another score here. Let's get a bigger gap then, okay, and see if that helps us. Let's go. Until you get. And the clock's gone 70, 73, 74, and then you start thinking, right, we can, we can pack the bus here. Gents, your weight is your responsibility, please. God, if, with that yellow card against Aaron Pinchard, of course. Eight minutes just over, you can see that on the top of the score caption. Right. 
Still awaiting the first score of the second half. Set. There's that lovely drive again from Flandovery. That's put Cardiff in all sorts of trouble. Ball over the try line. And they sack the Cardiff forwards over the touch line and they'll get a, a line out. This is, this is what I was saying about the energy that uh, that Cardiff, uh, not Cardiff, no, 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 Sandovri rather, no, they Cardiff. turn them away, they turn Cardiff away twice, two different set pieces in their own 22, gives them the energy to know they can go after the Cardiff scrum, check. and look at, once Wait, again, a scrum, one scrappy, Lee Reese. I think Dav Hughes is involved as well, hunting the ball down, hunting Morgan Allen yeah, does well, really well here. To, to stay out of his uh, in goal area. No knock on, clear, no clear knock on. Yeah, he had quite so a reception go, committee waiting for him there, Morgan Allen. It's a line at your ball, let's go. Son of Andy so Allen, of course, go, former Newbridge second row, who won three caps. Let's go. In the 90s, Newbridge and Newport. There's uh, Dino Dallavalle waiting to come 15 on. 15 minutes to Italian go. Italian under 20 international. Played against so Wales much. back in the day. And he's engaged to Hannah Jones, one of the Wales on women players. Last feet. The line out wasn't great feet. from Flandevery. Neither line out has been Use. that good this afternoon. Advantage over. Well, once again, Flandevery have pinned Cardiff Blue on the, line. On the 22. There. Line is yours, three. Their driving wall has been particularly good this second half, Flandevery. Jack Jones at the front coming forward, and a drive isn't a bad option for me. As the man who's never Jets had to jump the in the line out, never had to call a line out in his life. Yeah, Jack Jones, the captain, an amazing guy, 30 years of age. This is his 68th start in a row for Flandevery. 68th start in a row, that's an incredible record. Cardiff, uh, well, I wouldn't say in desperation, but trying to just get some energy going by running it out. But you'd imagine that Flandevery will be quite happy with that. This is the moment where Cardiff are going to have to chase the game a bit more than, than you'd like to, but he's got a chance your arm here. 15 minutes left, 13 points down, you need two tries. No, you're milking that. Use. Ethan Lloyd's right boot. Replacement scrum half. Taken by Maynard. Aaron Warren. Aaron Warren over halfway. Over the 10 metre line. Can he find support inside? He can. And it's just going to be the score that wins it. Lee Reese for Clandavery. Brilliant. Fashioned by Aaron Warren away back. Finished by Lee Reese. And is that the one that wins the Premiership for Clandavery? Oh, what a, what a great counter attack. From St. Every pass the ball twice, two long passes. Often that puts the defence in a position of advantage because they can shift, they can gobble at the yards up the field. But fair play to Warren on that far edge. <laughs> a somewhat ungainly running gate, but very effective, very fast. And like he did in the first half, once he's through the line, great ball transfer there, by the way, knows it's his responsibility to keep the play alive. Kick? And knows that Lee Reese is, uh, is 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 tracking up the inside of the field as all scrum halves do, as we mentioned in the first half. Unselfish, really unselfish. I love that. I remember Gareth Baber telling me as a young player coming through at Cardiff, if you make a line break, pass the ball because somebody's in a better position than you coming onto it. And that's exactly what Warren's done there. Well, Lee Reese, a second try for him. Scrappy as he's known, but there's nothing scrappy about that. That was brilliant. Brilliant from Warren and just the, the, the tracking line, he knew exactly what he was doing. A carbon copy, really, of his, of his first half try. Absolutely. Jack, I suppose Jack. if you've got yeah, wingers, left, you've got wingers who are looking for it as well. You know, no, no, you, don't die with this ball. I track back in field because somebody is coming up the middle yeah, of the field to, to take an inside ball. It makes such a difference to an attack. Aaron Warren has scored 11 tries himself this season. That's the top for Flandevery. I don't know how many he's assisted, but uh, that's had two and 
two of the most important assists of the season. This to make it a 20-point game. Just wide with that one. But it's still a pretty handy lead. 21-3. And it's a red letter moment for Van Devry now because Ricky Guest, the replacement hooker, is coming on for his final game for Slandevery. One of the, we talked about characters earlier on. 17 years in the Premiership he's played. Great character, we've seen him interviewed often enough. He's played for uh, four other Premiership clubs, Swansea, Carmarthen, Quinns, Swansea, uh, 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 Aberavon as well. And uh, one of the great characters, Ricky Guest, so this will be great to see him come on. Absolutely. That's what it's all about, we were saying earlier, it's disappointing that Dan Fish doesn't get his swan song, but Ricky Guest yeah, is going to get it, and he's going to get it with a winner's medal as well, by the looks of it. Yeah, there he is. A real Stop great character. Jensen, please, then. Back you go. And a uh, great member of the front row union, of course, as well. So, 21-3, just over 10 minutes to go. I think you can put the red and white on the cup. Last beat here, Jensen. It seems that way, doesn't it? And if Sandovi shift this ball, then they could be in business again. And Bacardi still down to 14, and Landevry off again on that left-hand side. And it's just exhibition stuff now from the Drovers. Hughes again, Jack Maynard. What a day this will be for him, former Cardiff player. <laughs> You've got to on again. Feet within a metre of the breakdown. Leave him go. Okay, he's gone 10. Uh, when you're in a position like this, as far as Land Every concerned, do you want the whistle to go or not? No, this is this is the great stuff. This is these are these are the moments where you know. Well, like, I don't want to I don't want to jinx it, right? We're 10 minutes out, but those moments, so the championship moments we had it with the Scarlets out in Munster, knowing really that you were in control of the game in a big game like this, and it's it's very final. The, the final whistle blows, and you never get that moment back. But it's brilliant. Those sort of five six minutes leading into it, knowing that the game is yours, you can just enjoy it. Yes, I remember being out there at the uh, Beaver Stadium for that game. And that uh, rather Thank sums you, up Cardiff's afternoon there. Say again. Aaron yeah. Pinch is coming back on. 18. Good there. Less than 10 to go now Good for Flandovery to just hold on to this lead oh, or even it, extend yeah. it. Time off, gents. Players being treated. I'm all right in the minute, man. Thank, thank you. Also uh, at the press conference, as the water carrier is just on at the moment, also at the press conference on uh, Friday, one of the questions uh, was asked to the, both coaches, in fact, Steve Law and Ira Sevens, uh, about you, what do they think of the playoffs. And Steve Law was quite vehement, saying that, uh, well, we finished top. We should be the, the, the champions. He was a great fan of the playoffs. Looking at this, you can probably see why. Iros as well. Uh, as a contact uh, said he thinks there should be a trophy for the team that finished first i still have the playoffs so i give a trophy to the, the league winners I, I think that's very important that you acknowledge who has in fact you know who's i don't i don't know whether you call it whether you're the, you're the league champions or or, or whatever but I'm, I'm with steve law in, in terms of if you've grafted all season to to finish the season at the top of the log you deserve to win something and maybe that that's a happy medium that aros evans has uh has suggested. Vandevery come again. They'll all want the hands on the ball in this uh, last 10 minutes. They brought a few hundred up the M4 from Carmarthenship. Yeah, no effect. That ball for Lee Reese. He's searching for a hat trick as well. Mark that, James, mate. Always in. Keep coming, Red! Keep going! I think that uh, no. sums up Cardiff's day as well. Johan Evans that time, in fairness to him, it's a very low sun. And he maybe got caught in the sun. Perfect. 
Well, when it's not your day, it's not your day. And here comes Ricky Guest. Listen to the roar from the Flandevery faithful when he steps over the whitewash for the final time. There he is. On for David Hughes. A lovely moment there. Well done, Ricky Guest. Great character of the Premiership. 17 years playing at this level. And he's going to go out as a champion at the age of 34. Yeah, Dav Hughes, very industrious afternoon as well. You know, the line-out has uh, at times been a bit hit and miss, but he's so busy. He's a player that I have a huge amount of admiration for. He's tough, he's hard as nails, he's a competitor. Okay. And uh, he's head, heading to Jersey next season, and all the best to him because we'll get a gap you know he's a, he's a player that's also given a lot. He's a local lad, he's a local from every lad. He's given a lot to the club as well. Yeah, 27, and nobody had moved again a good club, champions of the championship jersey, a good standard. Absolutely, and Tom Tom Williams, Lloyd Williams's brother, Bryn Mawr, um Bryn Mawr's boy, he's out there cutting his teeth as a coach. He's a very very astute rugby brain, Tom. Again, played a fair amount of rugby with him, talked a lot of rugby with him over a coffee. Once, for once, the Clandevery scrum. Yeah, he's gone. Has to concede. And Cardiff finished with something to give their, their fans. Something for their fans to cheer about. His final seven minutes. They have won the cup, of course, so they've got something in their silverware. Shall we cross his break? But well, that's come to naught as well. Referee, is he playing on? And is he going to allow that try to stand? Well, he's going to go to the TMO. Jack as well, he's pushed his run. Well, it was Jacob Lloyd. I just want to check that 23. He seemed to get the final touch. He's onside. Because there was then a kick through off another blue player. I think the first one's fine. I think the first one's off a knee. What a, turn of, what a turn of speed by Derry Cross, right, obviously, we know he's a fast player. Okay. We just need to check that there isn't... We'll clear everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Just need to check that 23 blue is on side for us, please. Okay, I'll check out now. Okay. Yeah, it's come off, and Jason said it's come off the knee, but we'll sweep that up as well. He's onside anyway. Okay, okay, can we roll it back to just double check the potential of a knock on? Off his shin. So that clearly yeah. comes off his shin. 23 is on an onside position. It's a try, Yeah. Okay, try. so I can award the try. try. Thanks, Wayne. Right. <laughs> yeah, try awarded. When you ready? Jacob Lloyd. Okay, and uh, unaccountably, the conversion oh, has been put wide. And if anything sums up Cardiff Day, it's that conversion attempt from Johan Evans. Oh, well, Jacob Lloyd. Six. Straight off the training paddock. Six. Practice them all week. <laughs> now, um. All on side, Red. It's it's difficult to over uh, overstate how how important that conversion was for Cardiff. You know they can chase a, they've got to score twice now. Oh no, it's 21-8. The scoreboard previously that we had up uh, was, was incorrect. Well, Landevri have got a chance to extend their lead. Jens, thank you. Take the three here, don't you? Well, take you the three, three and this is. You were asking me earlier at what point you start looking at the clock, thinking we're going to win this, we're going to win this. You know, we start putting the ribbons on the trophy, and it, and it feels Jack Maynard kicks this one, and it feels that that moment has arrived. Jack, you're just here. Uh, there was about six from the kickoff, so. 220 points for the season before this. He's got three penalties and a conversion. 
231 he's on now. Do you pick your, your man of the match? I think uh, Lee Reese is, is a pretty strong contender for me. He's been excellent in everything that he's done. He's 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 hassled and he is star of the match. Ten seconds. He's hassled and, and harassed the Cardiff forwards. He's got his own forwards moving forward. He's scored a couple of tries. You'd probably say he's probably had the biggest influence on the game today. Maynard straight and true. How many times have we said that? Not just this season, but in previous seasons as well. 9, 11 and 12. Up to 231 points he goes. 24-8 the lead is now. You got it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Lee Reese is coming off. The man of the match. The start of the match. Bad enough concentration. David Land is on. Switch your language. Really? Hang on, turn on. And uh, Your turn. Rodri Wall is on as well. And this is a case now of just getting everyone on the field for the final whistles, getting everyone to say they played in the Premiership final. Absolutely, and quite rightly so. You know, it's uh, it's a big day for the club when these boys have obviously given a lot all season invested them in, into into what Thunder Free have been building and well, they all deserve to be on there well Jack Maynard was saying in the press conference when they won the cup back in 2016 uh, the celebration has been on for days he reckoned down in uh, in Slandavri. always in James. so you wonder what it'll be it'll certainly be don't come back in the same day you go out no absolutely not I might have to go to Slandavri tomorrow to pick Wynne Jones up to go to London for the World 15 he might not be in a state of drive Quite right too. Massive day for the club. Yeah, tell us about that, the World 15. Yeah, uh, Brad Moore rang me up a couple of weeks ago and do you fancy a game? I said, yep, lovely, fantastic. Um, so we're heading up to London tomorrow. The back line looks unbelievable. I have no intention of, of kicking the ball. Semi Brad is going to do all my running for me. Yeah, and you're playing 10? five? Hopefully. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fantastic. And it'd be very accommodating. I've got a wedding to get back to on the Saturday, so I'm nipping back for that. That's uh, the voice of Rhys Patchell, Cardiff, Scarlet, yeah, Wales, and now the rest of the world. <laughs> Ball lifted, and Glantar. Sevens on the side. Of course. So here we go, just playing out this final two and a half minutes, and uh, this huge support that Landavri have brought with them, all in shirt yeah. sleeves, decking out the arms park in red and white. There's going to be some celebrations. It'll be a, a great day for Handel Davis, the president. Ira Sevens and his coaching staff. No, hang on. Jack Jones, the captain. Pen, yes. And I, I reckon he won't be on his Jack Jones when they lift that cup, I can tell you that. You don't need to not come in all. pushing players, not I'll stop there, thank you. As you say, great servant to the club. Had a spell in, in the Italian Holden. top division. Yes, he did with, uh, on the floor, gents. with uh, Friends in the Rubigo, if I remember. Yeah, he's a great he's a great Two character. Minutes, I played eighth grade with Jack. Fantastic, fantastic guy. I'm I'm thrilled for him. I'm thrilled for him because he's a good player. And and today he gets his moment in the sun to lift the trophy on the Alps Park. The way Cardiff are making their way to the line, as you can you can tell, there's uh, very little energy left in the blue and blacks. Playing advantage, knock on off red in the line act. They finally finished with a knock on advantage try. over. Once so again, it's spilled forward. Use David Land. Up we get, Jens. Thank you. Let it go. Up we get. Thank you. There's Ricky Guest getting his hands on the ball. Use Wayne. Give me a countdown, mate. Less than a minute to go. I'll tell you when. Not yet. For history to be made. Land every. Thank you. Their first ever Premiership title. I 
agree. No messing. The old fashioned chops in. I've enjoyed the, the refereeing today. I think he's very good. I think he's been very English. good. Yeah. You know, he's made his good early clear decisions. Unfussy. No red! Only brought in the TMO when he's needed. I think if the ref, if nobody's talking about the referee, I think he's done a good job. Other than us saying that he's done a good job, Thank of course. You, mate. A oh, hint of something on this left-hand side. Lovely cutout pass. Barnes Wallace, though, in the end to Jacob Lloyd, but he gets in. So Did not, really well to finish that. I've got a knock-on. It's a knock-on, gents. Oh, knock-on is given, and there goes the whistle. That's it. That's it. Flandevry, for the first time in their history, are the Premiership champions. They finish second in the league at the end of the regular season and they've come here into the lair of the blue and blacks and they've triumphed and who can say they didn't deserve it they led 16-3 at half time and then when Lee Reese scored the second of his race of tries for scrum half there was only going to be one winner Jack Maynard the trusty boot of Jack Maynard put over the rest of the points the sundries four penalties and a conversion, Cardiff's only try from uh, or, or, uh, from Jacob Lloyd, the replacement, Harrison James put over a penalty, but it was, yes. it was Sandevery's day. Here is the start of the match, Lee Reese with Steph Hughes. We got come to Lee Reese. Lee, two said in the game, come and get him out of the well, that's your Tim Ron great. Oh, unbelievable. My, my guard's great, but on a ski ride on the. I've got more prouder boys of Nunar Benning here, so we just chuffed a bit. I don't know if I've got a great game now more than that. They're going to get a great game of mine. Yeah, I'm going to get a game of Ryan Quarry and Nick, so I'm game planning to repay for a try to blow you in, so we stuck with it. Uh, we just fought both boys and just fought a very good game. I've been sure boys and that's three do guys now, and all in the club here now. Have you been all in the club, but oh, hon? Yeah, it's a couple of pints in now, so you can never hear in. Beauty, die on leave. Yeah, yeah, great. Yeah. Well, so very, Van. I'm going to wreck some of my Las Vegas. I'm going to play a dirty with some of my new Scunny Simmons and the Bremen. I'm going to win real life. <laughs> yeah, but that's going to be a budget and win in Las Vegas. And uh, now, well, with all the reasons, I'm sure with uh, and all the fun of the Bremen again, who's painting it all, you said. Great, Mr. Pills, now in Kakumni, Morgan Allen. Yeah, Morgan, obviously a bit disappointing. Uh, how do you feel? How do you sum up that game? Um, I just don't, don't really think we played to our full potential. I mean, all the hard work we put in the last kind of six, eight weeks, um, kind of in preparation for something like this, we just didn't didn't really fulfil what we really wanted to do. And the result kind of speaks for itself, really. Yeah, and there were aspects of that game. You showed huge character, especially defensively, but maybe a lack of accuracy let you down at times. Yeah, I think that's what's most disappointing. Um, I think we've always kind of prided ourselves on our, on our defence. Um, sort of not really... Kind of capitalise our attack. Just feels a little bit disappointed. Feels a bit of an opportunity missed. Thanks very much for your time. Turn up, boys. Hey, well done, Anita. San and Devry and Bavi got an Ennis one here. Now Mitchell can dam and side blender. That dig with boards. Ennis final. Manuadi Ned. The reason I swear the Lir Cavani when lenders the club out of the club and Vau Nord Bithwer. Well, I love them. I'm going there. Um, I'm in Tim Lambert's Nassau. My way out on a bow. Scorry, other day, guys. Oh, I'm Ben Dami, getting after Saulin, uh, and ready with a pack. Uh, the big after Saulin, the gal, uh, I'll say it again, we met with, uh, with the Reng Vlan, uh, and we're going to still Warrell, uh, and we're going to Reng all on, on our Ben Dami TV, or, or Lee Reese, and, uh, and we're going to, uh, or the Riolier game, and I, I'm, 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 Dang, Dal and Dangos, but he gives them the Dal Dagi, are all, uh, are all South and Morgan Dagi, that's all I'm going to do. Again, he's the lad that is Patrick Lovren, and now that's what I'm sweating for, he's, the way Dolera Evans, my dad would dare act on this thing and Beno Dolan is other game with an old Ben is other here now. And and Gretel Yoga, I'll continue to finish now. The Kalina Maso, Hanri Hinen. Um, I really get into doing it. I'd give a scary question to our own clinical young punk. You know, so.
Not that I've done I've heard, that I've done I've Can you give a massive kind out of shout out to Jack Jones? Jack, can you hear me? I can just go you, you, yeah. A huge congratulations. Thank you for bringing us um, in that huddle right. with you. Your first final, and you've yeah. only gone and won it. Some of your emotions for us. Um, it hasn't sunk in to us, It's good taking that moment, looking at that crowd, like, you fair. Such a win for the boys, it's for the whole community of Canterbury. They back us all the way through the year. I'm not just this year, every single year being in the club, they've been outstanding. So, this is for them, for the community of Canterbury, and the club, and everyone. So, fantastic. Yeah, and Jack, this is a home game. It doesn't feel like a home game for Cardiff nah. at the minute. Just talk to us a bit about what it was like out on the pitch with so many red shirts in the stands. Ah, you, you just can't fault in. And like I said, like the support is always outstanding from the Canterbury supporters. So, it's amazing to have them all year, and then they pass it with us, you know what I mean? So. I'll let you get on with your celebrations. Thanks for speaking guys. to us. Are they them? Are they? Are they going to be on the other side? Are they going to be on the other side? Are they going to be on the other side? Are they going to be on the other side? Are they going to be on the other side? Are they going to be on the other side? Are they going to be on the other side? Are they going to be on so na am um, moment a swedal and amal or the scrum na pe meder or sinas guys could do then and moment ing advent only tia in a game I've started to find this and I'm different now. Once again, Gary, pe mi so nam than him the Vrini or even so nam but they're all wearing by more uh, tackles man un travel to Bailon on EV or the or the ring plan that Dechre Jamie Hughes David Hughes a better not getting only medal only medal on week um, uh, took a dollar game a I a pe mi that Gary and James plan. Uh, our, our loan uh, and I'm logo or a bravo under the plan only medal within and with the old vid on and now with uh, Agui then a game now only medal with with a pack and uh, and we have and I've no been down seven months ago. Right, you mean the Isle of Man on Silver Bird and now it feels still like oh I'm going there. This you mean the Aruani Troy Kavloniad at Luz. Well, here we go with the trophy presentation. There's John Manders of the Welsh Rugby Union. Trophy, uh, medals only for the winners this afternoon. There's Ricky Guest. What a way to finish for him. The 34-year-old, 17 seasons in the Premiership. John Manners, a fine forward in his own days with uh, Newport and uh, one of Wales' youth cap. There's the defeated Cardiff side. Well, they they won the cap, but they can be... They can't uh, be great slammed every day. Far the better side, the Drovers. You can argue that... Uh, whether re, uh, playoffs should be included or should the team that won the championship by right in the regular season get the award that's for a, a debate for another day but you cannot begrudge Slandevery they've come here to the home ground of the Blue and Blacks and they've won in emphatic fashion and there's going to be some celebrations in Carmarthenshire tonight The victorious skipper is going to be the man to lift the trophy. What a way to end your 68th start for your club. Jack Jones, 30 years of age, former Wales in the 20th International, receiving the award, the trophy from uh, Matthew Bennett from Indigo, the uh, sponsors. Here he goes. Landabri are the 2022-2023 Indigo Welsh Premiership champions. They've beaten Cardiff by 24 points to 8. There's the trophy, there's Jack Jones, there's the champagne. And the probably 400 or so Tenethi supporters who've uh, come down the M4 are loving it. Congratulations to Slandavri, Premiership Champions 22-23. In Galvana, a Bimangalagir boys man, and my race means so on. I'm a Tore, you were in so on. I'm a fight for Ennis Rebecca Club and Boy Poisig, nay, and Galagi Moina Bithua, Ennis Gada team from Lada, last the Mar boys three, Dan Trilly Bobuth Nostan, a Mar Verda, Min Troy Cosadio, and a Bidi Galefa. Yeah, my camera from that boy in the Inade West, get a get a club in a wedding. So a club coming out of what Carlona Camina do, club rugby, Dan and the Vria. And we go back to my Vevler, Bob O'Sale, but he, um, yeah, my, 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 my,
Bocadid wedi bennu'r tymor o'r frig y gynglau. Maen nhw wedi neud ni'n nawr teir gwaith yn olynol a dylse nhw gael rhyw fath o'r dlws. Mae ma eisiau cyd nabod yr hyn maen nhw wedi cyflawn ni hefyd. O, oh, Bendan, di gennym â gyrdydd. Mae'r gyrdydd i fod yn gyson iawn sy'n gydol y flwyddyn a maen nhw wedi uh, perfformio yn wych o'n on anffodus. Uh, un gem i fynd a maen nhw'n ma ma ysbwb bach yn, bach yn ffyrdd. Felly, um, yeah, na, ma, ma rai ti can mol nhw sy'n gydol y flwyddyn. Mae cwmni nawr gyda Steph Hewes. Yeah, we got Cumney, Ricky Guest, Jack Maynard, uh, Taylor, Ricky, and uh, Gorfen, Gwichi, Garvan, and Hagolitia, and Club Canon, Lovely Guest, the Diante. Yeah, uh, good friend of Perth, very really. early. Uh, we're playing uh, a third roll up, but we're going to see Kinney game, Tim Giddy Powell, so you need a lot of white fuel, to all the scenes. Um, I mean, I just want to enjoy you now. Ah, great, uh, Jack. And I'm looking perform at perfect at the end. Oh, he makes him on higher dig than Edward. Yeah, then well, they just in great. So he he bought him water dig than Edward. Get up, turn me back or cushion. Oh, they just thought only them would expect on now. And the boys are just an amazing. Ed, they were thought thought need Royal performing at us and Ed, they were Jock with. So um, yeah, great to see Joy on that Jock boy. Good boy, Jock. It's your honour, partner. Stay on. Yeah, good boys. Asamir Vain, Rina Miniamar, Pipe for Ricky Gessam and Yvonne High Hain, or Eros Evans and Amino and Inaran. As you do, we should go out in Jump Polana Lau, Eros, or Sidi Kurra Painal Amateur Kinta, Hidi Ennis Painal Amateur Kinta, Bimingal Giti. I'm a special to my club with the Mogala, the Caravan in, I need to form Yavan Lad at a come to at a stage where you are, and I'm special in it. At this only reach now, I thought I would have to hear from my dad with their ambition and such a game. Well, well, it's him that all in such a game. Well, that's all the fun in in Crewe. Yeah, on to get all the game. Ah, pretty good. You can play on any dig on that. Come here, do it. Magician Barkley, recent Angus, Pamir Dam, Ave. So we've been a special and a gang of my am series. So, so many nice guys, boys, from like Calcutta. A legend, and do a legend of club. Three hundred and fifty days, one thing I see out. I'm a lot of boys now. I'm a very big team. Where do you put in Juan and Gasson? Two guys that hit again, one thing I see out. And the third game, to get all the time more. Find my kid, Lenya. Do you help me? He got the point of that. I'm a boy sick. Um, I didn't do my Lenya. I'm a ham series now. Um, I got one of the settled in here. I'm a boy sick. We need to perform your head. I'm not more tough than you did in here. We need to take a medal, right? My joy, Ladani. My shower at loose. I've I'll guys, Lewis. Ah, kicked with the jack man. So we could do more than that. The score is quite simple and glorious. So. Pryd a'th y cic ni'r drosto ni'n meddwl ni'n ei neud e? Ni'n mynd i gael um, cipolog ar ddau gais liri, so mae disgorio, dwi'n meddwl, oeth yn ystod y, y tymor. Ei ros, mae yn chwaraewr allweddol i chi. O, ni am blynydd yn ar, dwi'n meddwl, liwyr y bod yn uh, chwaraewr y safon i chi ella, um, yn dangos, pyth yw'r defnder, sy'n ei yna gyngra yma, so mae'n eisiau gweld pobl fel li i cael... Uh, a chance to dangle with me at a level of my. I wait to see the event. My Rex, I'm in Las Vegas. Is that Lee Shaky in here now? I built well, sure. Built well, sir. I put your coin on the belt, well, still come out here, Ross. Now, I don't see the knowledge of us now. I feel all Nathan. Arwine, what or they dig red minute? Do you bet the middle with the Cadi than do all? No, I'm not on the team level, ni or Brooks or Webby. Oh, they were Aston team level. Oh, can can them the Rick Gavel and a game, mama. Like basically, yeah, we carry on who he Viennis. Right, and I need my Giro d'Italia. Good any other cover or if not my on Mar Tema rugby wedi veroin i ben. Dai gan ta fim dego the norde ers a game kun dani di calce vo gud en sanem the vri eira am har keira sim sendod vasi vonin gueni mem tawid brav en a vri dinas. Diochamach kum nihi tantronessa nosat.